Okay. Everybody good? Yeah. Okay, today is December 1st, 6.02, and this is a meeting of the Recreation Committee. Um, we have a uh, first order of business is the approval of minutes from September 7, 2021 and November 15, 2021. Everybody get a chance to read them? Yep. Okay. I'll entertain a motion to approve the minutes from September 7th and November 15th. So moved. So moved. Second. It. Second. All in favor? I'm about to do the attendance too. That's okay. Oh. Yeah, so, so uh, in, in attendance for the recreation meeting, uh, Frank Melisi. We also have to mention the video and. Oh, it's being video audio and audio <laughs> recorded as well. Thank, Thank you, Joe. Joe. Thank you. <laughs> so, uh, Frank Melisi. Melissa Scartini. Audrey Flanagan. Joe Rosetti. And in the audience is uh, uh, Jim Hickey. Uh, our, our you don't need to stand kid. up. No. <laughs> The caretaker. Madison. Madison, the caretaker. Awesome. Um, okay, so uh, we have the approval of the minutes. It's good. Um, okay, and the first order of business and all business is to. Shut, shut, shut that door. Oh, shut sure. um, Discussion and vote on the policies and procedures. So, so I um, emailed um, a copy of this a while ago, mm -hmm. but um, mm -hmm. I also printed some color copies because these were already color coded. <laughs> at one point, so I did not change any of that. Um, the only thing I added, when I added what we had discussed at the last meeting, I made them um, red and underlined. So this is, the red is what was last meeting? The red was already a red color in there, and I okay. don't remember what all the reasons were for all the different colors, but well, I think that, I think the red was already approved. The red was what the lawyer put in, and the blue was what we had put in. After, yeah, after the fact. Yeah, I don't we never got anything. We, she and made and different green. remarks, and we had to answer her questions, and then yeah. that's why. Okay. So, um, okay. It was very right. easy to answer. Yeah, and, all right. So, so we can jump right you know, to page two. What we had added was... Um, just the role of the commission. We wanted to put an asterisk in there next to recreation mm -hmm. director since we don't have one that, um, or administrative assistant when the recreation director is unavailable. Um, and then we added number four, building and property maintenance in um, collation with other town departments as needed. Um, and then as an asterisk, I just also put on page three, just reiterated that in any area of the policies and procedures when only a recreation director is named, that directive would go to the administrative assistant when a recreation director is not available. So I tried to, yeah, I tried to catch everywhere in here where it just said recreation director to put that asterisk. Did did you? I gave it to you, John. Yeah, did you? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Okay. Sorry. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> okay. And I read through it. Are well. all the pages the same as what we had originally on that last one? No. No, I think I think these are the updates that we made when we when we um we voted on these updates a, a few weeks ago. Yeah. So this is just the updated copy. Okay. Yeah, we also, I mean, uh, I think like 99% of these we already discussed. Yeah. We, did. we yes. went through it like, we did. line we, by line. And we voted on the changes. Yeah. Yep. This yeah. is just to review it, you know, to confirm that. Um, page 5, um, we added um, that the teams who work in conjunction with the rec director, head caretaker, was caretakers were not part of this, so we added head caretaker. Same with... Um, um, down in the oh, other yeah. paragraph here, yeah. assigned teams will work in conjunction with the head caretaker was added. Yeah, and we stripped the dis dis disciplinary code. Yep, yeah, that we did. Really yeah, awesome. that, yeah. Um, page seven, we also added um, under Corey checks that the town administrator will conduct all Corey checks as requested. Corey's must be redone every two years. Um, on page eight, we um, there was a policy: no alcohol shall be consumed on the grounds of the property. Um, we put unless licensed by the board of selectmen, because you can drink as long as you have a permit. Yeah, and the permit would be so, and the permit would come to us originally for them saying, okay, we want to have a party at the. Let's just throw the coal out there, yep. for example, right? 
um, we would have to approve it, and yep. then the board of selectmen would also have to approve the license for specifically for the code. Right. The code, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So it wouldn't be just like anybody throwing parties at the code, right? Right. Like that. Yep. And they would have to be. That's where the liquor would have to be served mm -hmm. from. Correct. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. I yep. know it had on here at one point in time on page eight. Uh, pavilion. Yeah. Okay, yep. but we, but they we, they can't under regular conditions be served at the pavilion. It has to be a special permit because you have because someone in this building can't watch the. So it, no, if there yeah. were to be a party out there, the bar service can be in the pavilion. Right. I yeah. Understand yeah. That, no. But, but that's not the way it was written at the beginning of it. That was included in around the building. The pavilion was the last word. It was on page eight at that time. So yeah, it says right here, uh, possession of alcohol is prohibited except approved by the Rec Commission in the Lodge Pavilion in Pine Grove. Yeah. yeah and prohibited except approved by the Commission in the Lodge Pavilion or Pine Grove. Yeah, but it, would, but it Or areas designated by the Recreation Commission. Right. Right. But really, the pavilion is not part of the main... Well, in other words, when it's yeah. a wedding, the pavilion is really not included. It's only That's special. our policy. Yeah. That's not the bar's policy or our license policy. Yeah. Our license policy is only for Camp Kiwani. It doesn't designate where on Camp Kiwani. So when the Board of Selectmen approve that bar permit, they're only they're approving it for a bar service at Camp Kiwani. Right. Yeah. It can be anywhere. It can be out in the frontier cabin. It can be out in the... Field. Yes, but sec section five of page eight is saying that if you want it anywhere other than the designated, you would have yeah. to come to you us have to first. Get permission yeah. from the we would have to give you approval to do it there, and the, but obviously the bar service would have to be there as well with, right. them, with them doing that. We wouldn't just be able to go right. and mm -hmm. do that. Okay. Um, I'm sorry. Can yeah. I ask you a question of about number four? Number four. Yeah. Uh, smoking tobacco. Isn't there a designated area? Um. The only smoke stand that I know of that we have is right so out here So this in the front. is this is so this is where these policies are kind of confusing, Jim, because this is for recreation programs. Oh, yeah. so this isn't yeah, okay. general rules for Camp Kiwani. This is for if, when, like, let's say Margaret, you know, if she were to come and do that camp. These are our rules for her. Oh, okay. So they're not general rules for Camp Kiwani. Does that make Thank sense? You. Yeah, no, have, I know, it is a little confusing. Yeah, we also have um, smoking sections in somewhere. Yeah. I gave Frank a cigarette before the meeting. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for just closing up. It's, they yeah. took a picture it's of it. Like, it's not like my wife would be selfie? watching this or anything. Yeah, a selfie. <laughs> we'll post that on Facebook. Yeah, designated um, smoking areas. This is on page 10. Um, during events are outside. Yeah. The art house, lower parking lot, outside the firehouse, and upper parking lot. Okay. Yeah. So. And that's actually for um, general event policies for caretakers. Um, um, yeah. Um, yeah, and then we added the Board of Selectmen because um, we can't discount our fees unless we get approved by us and the Board of Selectmen. Mm -hmm. um, we added um, on the top of page 10, caretakers and or staff um, or a current Recreation Commission member shall be on location for the duration of all events for safety and security purposes. Yep. Um, rentals are available if staff is available. We talked about that. We don't have well, designated yeah. holidays, but if a caretaker didn't mind working, and somebody requested, and they requested it, yeah. yeah, if we could get staff, yeah. we could, you could have. You it, said but. we don't have designated holidays. Um, so it during says, designated holidays, yeah, I asked that question, and I think that Dory follows what the town hall does, but that doesn't necessarily mean that we have to. Yeah, like if someone requests to have a party on. Christmas. July, yeah, whatever. Yeah. yeah. So you know, we could, if someone, if a caretaker, want, if we have staff that wants yeah. to work. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, yeah. It might be, it might be, we might just want to list those holidays on sure. here. Sure. I'm Say, happy to. You know, Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, you know, um, Easter Sunday, you know, things like that. Okay. Um, whatever Dory really follows with the town hall, that would probably well, be Well, I think they, she time. follows Veterans Day and all that yeah. stuff, which. It's like the stock oh, holidays yeah. and things like that. Um, and then just have them listed, and you know if it's available, if staff will work, then that's that's completely fine. Yep. Um, 
Alright, I'll get a list from Dory on the top. Hi. Did we start? Yeah. We started at 6. 6.30. <laughs> yeah, 6.30. I know. Hi. Hi. Well, you might need to grab chairs. We get updated from our last meeting, so that's why we're. Yeah. yeah. Yes. You might want to grab a chair, Maddie. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to come back here? Um, okay, so we have. Military, mil military deployment, active military personnel, been deployed, granted mm -hmm. to be with the rental, yep. extended period of time, so that, that looks good. So yep. change the name. Um, Cranberry Cove. Um, I think we've got some on duty unless posted, so general risk. Yeah, okay. Right, I mean, that we had to add because we have not had the Cove over yep. for two years. Mm -hmm. um, same with here. Um, must pay access unless otherwise posted. Mm -hmm. signs outside there somehow or other to let people know where they're supposed to. Which uh, number? Not page uh, 14. 14, yeah. Which number though? Just, I don't think there's a number. 14. Right? Number 14. In the 14. event of a fire, renters and south end must exit the time to report to the park and under the lodge. But we should have signs outside to go along with it. It had nothing to do with the wording not in the oh. in this. It's just that that's something that we should have the uh, have I wonder if that's in the application. Like, Maybe. you know, like in, in the yeah, application. The general public wouldn't see the applications. The only person seeing the application would be the, well, renters. Would be the renter. So right, and that's what this the, says. Renters in the south end must exit the camp and report to the right. So right. In fact, there are people that the renters, I mean, they're not the only ones that might be coming. There might be other members of their family. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, so that they, if you don't have a sign out there to tell people where they're supposed to be, it, it's just uh, yeah. I, um, yeah. You can add it to your sign list. No. <laughs> <laughs> this, this one? Yeah. Part, uh, I, I don't even think this is, like, honestly that necessary. Um, okay. Um, okay. And then 15 parking it's at zero. It's just a notation to have. It's not nothing to be yeah. written on here. Right. It's just something for the caretakers to take care of. Um, do not cut trees and branches on number five. That's fine. Um, but they could take they could take tr uh, branches and f fall branches. Out right. Of yeah. Branches exactly. Like Just don't cut them. Stuff. Yeah. Okay. Um, Fifteen parking is at your own risk. That makes sense. Must be twenty one to rent a cabin. Last time, These residents are permitted to a ten percent discount. Rentals. Sense. Okay. Yeah. Um, we talked about that last time too about the cash being Come available. In. Come in. Um, yeah. Full for the security closet. Okay. If you want to grab a chair, or you want to sit back here. Come back here. If you want to sit back here. I'll... Come on. I mean, I, I come back there. That's fine. <laughs> I'm not that bashful. <laughs> um, don't the checks need to be? Is it Town of Hanson care of Camp Kwani? No, just the Town of Hanson. It's just Hanson. Yeah. It would still be better to specify Camp Kwani, otherwise it may not get to here. I just so before it gets, well, it was, the check is going to come with a receipt. It's going to go with a receipt. It, it still should specify so Camp Kwani. It when, should be for the reason that it's here. So when we when we take in the check, yep. we have the receipt for it, but do we stamp the check with, you know, like... Do, yeah, Dory stamps like it. So it does have to stamp yeah. on it from that. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. I mean, they can. But it follows a receipt, or it follows an invoice, or it fo you know, it follows something. So. Okay. As long as it has it in there, that's fine. Um, Seventeen. So donated use to the facility. 
charge, upon review, goes, goes, and goes, goes. place annually in January mm -hmm. is um Dory's working on that she okay. is mm -hmm. um she did get the form from uh, Lisa I believe and mm -hmm. she started the pro well, I think she started the process I'm not sure if she's filling them out or Maddie Maddie has she been in touch with you about caretaker reviews no I'll follow so, up so our majority of our caretakers here in January also so when we have caretakers throughout the summertime and everything like that are they here for the review in January or would it be better to do a review they, I mean, they're the available. They've never, they've they're never not done like them. working consistently. Yeah, yeah they've We've never, never done, done them before. Though. Okay, so we were thinking January because it's a slow season. But yes, to answer your question, they're not college students. They're they are available. Year okay, yeah. okay, that's fine. Yeah. I just want to make sure that they weren't like away for school during, yeah. like, you know, and then they weren't able to here for the review. Um, okay, that makes sense. The code is the only one that you would have that problem with. With the light yeah. dots, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But a COVE, um, a COVE employee is a seasonal employee. This is for um, year-round This is just, okay, so this yeah. is just for the, okay. Year-round employees. Okay. 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 Um, page 19, number yep. 9. I don't think that's, I don't think that's legal. Um, I don't think we can keep credit cards. No, it's our credit cards. It's like our loan yes. card. Oh, yeah, oh, 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 yeah, yeah. 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 Right. yeah. yeah, it's not like my credit card. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I don't think like we can keep a list of people's credit cards. Not like you get a bunch of things. You've got $300 yeah. maxed out. Okay, great. Um, Fine, perfect. <laughs> And so the only other thing is number 10 in the last one. Is there a social media policy? I've never seen a social media policy from the town. I tried to look at it up. I don't know if it's there. We, do we have to sign we something? So on number 10, it says I will abide by a social media policy of the of the town of Hanson. Is that just OML? That's on ethics. Yeah, I thought yeah. I was joined. I thought I had to sign something. Yes, you do. It has to be done every two years. Yeah. So, yeah, the only, the only thing that I felt from social media was like, the open meeting law social media policy that was on there. I Unless I'm mistaken, okay. because well, I'm sorry. Go ahead, Mr. Hickey. It was started uh, in 2017. Okay. By then Chairman Jim McGeehan. Okay. Um, and it just kind of fell by the wayside. Um, it, it's basically common sense, but uh, you guys are in the same position I am. Mm -hmm. um, even though we're all volunteers. We are basically employees for the town. Mm -hmm. Correct. So if you say something on a social media page or even your own Facebook page mm -hmm. about another employee, whether paid or volunteer, you could automatically subject to be removed from whatever committee you're on. That makes sense. Yep. Okay. Yep. Awesome. I mean, that looks that looks pretty good. I don't think there's really any changes. Okay. Really talk to it. Um, okay. So I'll add the um, I'll add the town holidays in parentheses then okay. um, for whatever Dory gives me, and then um, I um, will change this change the color um, of all the pages, and I'll give it to Dory to submit to the so board of selectmen. Okay. Is it so? Does it have to go through the legal council? Well, it has to be approved. I don't know where it goes first. If it goes to legal, and then the board of selectmen, or the board of selectmen, and then legal. I would imagine like, council would probably send it back to us, and then we would. Send It'll it back. go to council, yeah. and if council approves it, but, they would approve it. Yeah. Approve it. The last time, I mean, we sent it there, and it was under an interim uh, TA, mm -hmm. and uh, it went to council, but it had never before. That year, gone to council. I had just gone to the 
to the uh, blood of selection. Well, things have changed. Yeah. So, okay. yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. Lisa, 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 will get it to Lisa and Lisa will take care of what it's supposed to go, I would yeah. imagine. And they're waiting for it. The town yeah. council knows that. Yeah, they've that, got the previous one. Right. It's been two years since. Yeah. yeah, hopefully it won't be two years <laughs> since then. Right. Um, okay, so I will entertain a motion to approve the new policies and procedures pending the holidays that Audrey will fill in, and then send it off to the town administrator. So moved. Second. All those in favor? It's 4 -0. Awesome. Great. Um, next discussion is uh, vote on the rate uh, discussion and vote yep. on rate increases. And Audrey did a great job on this with the, um, with, the with the spreadsheets and a lot of numbers. Yep. A lot, a of, lot numbers. of numbers. <laughs> lots of numbers. <laughs> right here, so I came in um, last Tuesday and I sat with Dory and we talked about the budget and we talked about our sweet spot where we want to be every year, where we have been every year up until this fiscal year when we were asked to cut our budget significantly and we are paying the price for that now. Um, <clears throat> so our um, annual budget goal is $350,000. That's what it costs to run Camp Hawaii and have some money for um, projects and maintenance and, you know, big maintenance and small maintenance and, you know, everything that goes along with this huge property. So um, there are four pages here. The first page is the current page. If the rate were to stay the same, what... Uh, what it would look like for us for fiscal year 24 because right now we're pretty much um, for fiscal year 23 um, we're only going to bring in about 172,000 well we have a potential of 172,000 just based on um, if we were to raise the rate I'm sorry leaving the rate alone so fiscal year 24 we have 57 open wedding dates possible wedding dates um, realistically, we'll probably book 40 of them. Um, so if we left that alone, the average of $4,000 for a wedding, because it's 35 for this and five for that, um, we're looking at $160,000 um, for revenue. Um, and that number includes below. Um, uh, no, I'm sorry, it doesn't include below. So down below, I have additional income. So yearly, as you know, we get 20% from the bar, and that brings in a yearly revenue of about $30,000. Private parties, um, we do 10 to 12 a year at $400. So that brings in another $4,800. If there's a wedding that's camping, um, they pay $500. So um, at an average of, say, half the weddings camp. So if your number's 40, half of them camp, you've got an extra 10,000. However, if there's no ceremony, they knock $500 off that rate. So you're losing $10,000 because of um, the no ceremony. So if we were not to budge on our, if we were to leave our um, rates as they are right now, we're looking at um, $195,000 um, for fiscal year 24. Which we're does not get our twenty twenty three. We're not working on twenty twenty three. I know twenty twenty three is sort of most of it's booked now at the mm -hmm. current rate, so there's not much we can do. So we're looking, we're projecting for twenty twenty four right now, because that's where it's going to make the biggest impact increases. with our rate increases. So with I, the the point of it also, Joan, is that we can't go back to the people who booked in fiscal year twenty three and charge them additional money. I know we about. can charge anybody that does it after July first. Yep. <clears throat> we can charge 2023 the more the additional money. That's why we can yeah. charge anybody after the board of selectmen approves it. Well, that's what I'm saying. Right. But I mean, but uh, the bill for 2023 is mm -hmm. what we should be consider considering. But right now, than. more like more than half of our weddings are already booked at the current rate. So let's just keep let's just move on, okay? Because this is this page is current. So, okay. So okay. so let, let's just let's just make it clear though on the first thing that these are these are also estimates, John. Estimates. Right? So it's not it's not like it. You know, if 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 all of 2023 fiscal year 23 was booked at the current rate, this is how mm -hmm. much we would have at, you know for 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 23. Then you know it goes on from there. Yeah. So um, anything if we have the new rate that's approved by the board of selectmen, and then we um, hi guys, we, um, hi. If the new rate is approved uh, approved by the board of selectmen, then it would only be an upside to that because we would be, be charging the new rate for any party that was then in. You know, coming, coming forward. So, um, okay. 
So the next page was at the 6,500. So up, up top, I did a rate proposal of 6,500. Mm -hmm. um, so again, our budget is 350,000. The first two lines here are what is left in fiscal year 23. So from May to June, we have nine a potential wedding weekends, um, and then 34 for um, July. Um, Yes, thank you. So, so the the thirty four that we have here at the at the twenty twenty three or fiscal year twenty three rate is at the current rate that we have. Right? At, no, so this one right here is raised. So this this whole page shows the rate at sixty five hundred dollars. Okay. Okay. So this is the, this is um, all of these numbers, all these figures show at a rate of sixty five hundred dollars. So if we went from that thirty five hundred and four thousand to a flat rate of sixty five hundred for a Friday, Saturday, or Sunday. This is what our rates are going to be. And then bump camping up to a thousand. And then we bump camping up to a thousand dollars for a Friday, Saturday, or Sunday. Mm -hmm. um, so again, the same spreadsheet down below shows the additional income. Uh, with a realistic of forty weddings, we're at um, two hundred sixty thousand. But when you add in all the additional revenue, the the bar service, the private parties, I have five hundred dollars here, which we'll talk about when we get to the other rates page. Um, camping with Half the, wed half the weddings doing camping would be 20 weddings, that'd be 20,000. Ceremonies, if we add that as an additional 500 instead of taking it off when they don't want it, um, that adds another 10,000. And then if we add the proposed um, kitchen fee, that'll add another 4,000. So the total realistic fiscal year 24 is going to be 330,000 if we raised our rates to 6,500, which is still under our budget goal of 350,000. So then the last page does the exact same thing, but with 7,500. And in talking with Dory, her first number that she threw out was 8,000. So um, she wanted 8,000. Oh, for the to raise. Yeah, but I think that also included the camping. So I pulled out the 500 for camping and went with the 7,500. This gets us a lot closer to where we want to be. It brings us to 370,000 as a um, projected income. Um, yeah, uh, so, and I, you know, two, two things that are on here that I would like to change is, is the, we can get to it on the mm -hmm. next page also, but, mm -hmm. um, the kitchen fees, yep. I feel like the kitchen fees shouldn't just be a hundred dollars. I mean, I feel like it should be more for the caterers. Okay, there's that. that on there. So, it's, it's, yeah, on the other rates, right? yeah. all right, yeah, so yeah. we'll just go over, we'll just go okay. over everything. So, um, on the other rates sheet. We have, this is for weddings only. We have the kitchen fee for caterers, which would be a hundred. Well, yeah, excuse me. It yeah. was listed at one point that it was $150 for use of the kitchen. Correct. Is that that is still here. Home? Yep, that is here. It's, 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 it's a here? rental. But we don't, this is, Joan, for us to charge the caterers that come in for a wedding a fee. Like, they yeah. pay a permit fee by, with the Board of Health. We want to charge them a fee to use the in addition to in addition, yeah, it would be a caterer fee. Yeah, so the so yeah the caterer fee would be, and then the kitchen rental fee would be like if I have my kid's birthday party. Right. right. So yeah. you yeah. should that. There are two different. Yep, there are two different oh, things yeah. here. Yeah. Now go on the, the last page. Second, second. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All yeah. right. We're looking at the other ones. So um. So extra fees for wedding only would be a kitchen fee for the caterer, mm -hmm. which we currently don't have one. Mm -hmm. um, ceremony on site, five hundred dollars. Um, and I think we could keep that. I think that's reasonable. We just wouldn't knock it off. We would just add it in. Mm -hmm. um, and then the additional setup per hour and additional ending per hour, 150 or 250. And I wasn't sure if we should have a maximum number of hours because of, like, I, I'm concerned about the bar service being here for 10 hours and serving somebody for 10 hours. So the additional know? setup and end is if, if the person or the the customer would want to extend their event. Yeah, so if they wanted an extra setup hour, it's 150. So that would be at the beginning of their yeah. function. If they wanted to extend their party, you know, later into the night, okay. then that's an additional 200. Is the liquor license only for that day? The liquor license is only for the hours that they've applied for. So <clears throat> if they do have, if they are adding extra hours onto their event, those extra hours are only a bar permit. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I mean I don't I don't oh, go ahead John. Excuse me, but they, they can't ask for extra hours at the time. No, they can't. Yeah, they have no wedding. It has to be done yeah. previous to the wedding. Correct. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Um, okay, so so like I was saying, the, the kitchen fees for the caterers, I feel like that should be higher. I don't know if, if 200 would be too much, maybe 150. Sure. Would probably be a better a better option for the for the kitchen fees. I'm good with that. Um, I don't think there should be a max hours on the on the setup of the end as long as we don't have a conflicting event with it. I'm just I wanted to check with the bar service and see if they have a maximum number of hours that they would serve at a function like this. Would would they be the ones that were submitting the license for it for the liquor license? Would, they would be the ones serving it. Okay. You know. So, so, they, so they have no. So when when a, when a when a bride comes in here and says I want to party from you know 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. in the mm -hmm. morning, right? The bar yeah. service would be like they wouldn't know anything about that. They would just know at the time of the event that they would be there for that long. No, I think no. the bride coordinates with yeah. the bar service. Yeah, yeah. She yeah. reaches out. The, she reaches that out okay. directly. Um, and I don't know who submits that. There's a permit that they fill out for the board of selectmen. I don't know if that's Dory that does that or if the bar service sends it in or. I think it makes a story that does Yeah, that. I mean, we can check with the bar service to see how long they probably Yeah, I just for. wanted to know if that. Do you I know? A, do I got a guess? quick question, yeah. though, too. Sure. It's happened a couple times um, that they rented an extra hour. Yep. Plenty of time to get the permit. Yep. But the message wasn't relayed to the sure. caretakers who showed up. Okay. No. And it's mm -hmm. not good. No. So, so Maddie, Lack Maddie of communication can, is big around here. Yeah, so we're working on that. Um, we are definitely working on that. We've created that playbook created a playbook um, and we're hoping to utilize Renee more in the office to ensure that the playbook is complete. Um, you know, so she'll be doing some follow-up calls with the bride and the caterers and making sure that all the times that are on the playbook for the caretakers are correct so that when you come in, you know, all right, the caterer is showing up at 10 o'clock this morning. Okay. Um, and you'll have the phone number for the caterer in case there's an issue, they don't show up, you can call them if you want to and you say, hey, you're supposed to be here at 10, it's 12.30, are you coming? You okay. know, we're gonna try to get as much information to you guys okay. ahead of time. Since I'm on the subject of lack yep. of communication, this whole season, there hasn't been. There's been stuff being done around the camp that we don't know about. Okay. Who authorized it? Why aren't we doing it? So, so let's let, yeah, hold on, yeah. so, so, hold, day, hold on one second. So let, we'll we'll take that into caretaker reports. Just yep. just hold off on that because right now we're in the rates discussion. So okay. yep. once we get that, can I ask a question about the rates? If we're sure. that? Huh? for the catering, the kitchen fee. Yeah. Do we have like the details on like is it if they use the space or is it if they use the ovens? Because like we have caterers who cook outside, mm -hmm. but then we'll come in. So like we might have to specify with them like what it consists of the fee. If they don't cook in our the, kitchen, are they still going to get charged the fee, or is the, it just caterers this, regardless? This, I I would be under the assumption that this would be for any caterer that comes in for a yeah. Because so, I think they're using okay. our water. Yeah. They're using yeah. the water. They're, they're still using the water. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So I think like for you know let's think of it. Is collateral for when you guys have to pick up stuff from a yeah. or something like that, right? It yeah. costs yeah. cost yeah. money yeah. for you guys to do that. So yeah. mm -hmm. you know, this will be kind of a, a you know in in that direction. Anybody should have to, anybody who's catering a wedding should pay the fee that's Will the yeah. same happen with the parties? Or is I don't think I think this is a wedding only thing. Yeah. Okay. Um, it's my yeah, opinion and, and you know I'm just one of the board, but it's my opinion that this is for weddings only because they're much bigger yeah. catering yeah, when you when it's different when it's, from when thirty it's a people at a buffet shower, and you know, yeah. hundred and twenty people at a you know, a sit down dinner or something like yeah. that. So um, yeah. And yeah. I also, and I also, well, we'll get to that when we get to the other part. Can I just add but. one little thing? Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if any of you know him or not. I mean, us caretakers know him. This is Jack O'Leary. He's one of the morning caretakers. Hi, Hello, Jack. Jack. Yeah. The first, nice to the first meeting you've been to. Welcome. <laughs> Welcome. Welcome. Welcome to the fun. He's like, nobody's going to know who I am. Um, okay, great. Okay. So, um, so those are, uh, you know, I don't think we need to add for the additional in the end. I think that's still reasonable, the 150 yeah. and the 250. So I kind of yeah, left those right. along. Um, all right, so the miscellaneous party rates. So um, we are currently at $400 for a four hour function with two hours set up. So essentially they're paying $400 for six hours. Um, Dory and I thought a $500 flat fee for five hours was plenty, basically $100 an hour mm -hmm. to rent. Um, so that's, you know, if they want extra hours, it's $100 an hour. If they want a six hour function, it's $600. $600. Fundraisers, I know that was a hot topic last week, but one of the things that, um, my opinion on a fundraiser is that um, while it is a little bit bigger of a function than a normal bridal shower would be, um, we're also getting a much bigger bar cut from something like that. And um, so I think that the pricing that we're getting from the bar service 
going to be a lot higher for a fundraiser than, you know, a bridal shower. Um, so that could be where we would offset our costs on that. And I also know that the Hanson AA charges $500 for, for a five hour function mm -hmm. regardless. So if I'm booking a fundraiser, I'm going to want the most money out of my fundraiser. I'm going to go to where it's the cheapest. Yep. And if we're higher than that, they're going to go to the AA. Yeah. Yeah. So that, that's true. But on the other hand, the AA also had they're their own bar service. So they take 100% of the proceeds. That exactly. Well, so. we do too. We would take 100%, but we would also get the bar service. So we would, we would essentially get more money. Oh, I see what you're saying. They get 100% yeah, of the they bar. Get yeah, yeah, yeah. Those the guys, drinks. they make cheap drinks. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. You know, yeah. It's, it's, um, but I just think we should need to, get, because the fundraisers and the parties are where the people in Hanson are renting this place, not necessarily a bride coming from out of town. Um, so I just feel like we should keep it affordable. Well, the fundraisers will also work on the showers, to showers, big birthday parties, everything else is considered under the fundraiser part. I mean, that's what you're calling a fundraiser, but it's really not always. It's parties, fundraisers, well, on, showers. Well, on, on this rate sheet, there'd be a parties rate, which would be like bridal showers, things like that. And then there would be a fundraiser rate, which is mm -hmm. the two different rates. So it'd be, it'd be okay. different at this point, right? So it wouldn't just be 500. So um, I. You're leaving them both at the same point. Suggested you're doing 500. Mm -hmm. Right. Well, yeah. Um, I mean, I, I, I would think that the fundraisers are doing... If there's a fundraiser for somebody in town and they want to come to us at a reduced rate, right? We, right. We will, we we will, vote on that. We will vote yep. on that. I think that if it's a fundraiser that's doing large amounts of, of donations that are taking in, mm -hmm. I think that raising this rate to 750 would probably be reasonable for the time that they had there, even though we are making money on the bar service. Um, just because, I mean, a bridal shower, I mean, they're not making money off of that, right? So it's not, you know, it's, right. and they, we still have the bar service for the bridal showers and things like that if they, if they have that, right. you know, birthday parties and stuff, but they're not making money off of that. No. Fundraiser, and I don't know, the capacity of the AA, I think is, I think it's, it's, I think it's comparable to us. Is it comparable? I, think, yeah. I, thought, I thought it was yeah. smaller, but... Um, and not all, not all fundraisers use the bar service either. Right? That's you true. You get the firefighters, no, yeah, the firefighters event. I mean, yeah, but the firefighters are always... Yeah. We always donate agree. to them, right? Yeah. So. yeah, I mean, in town, we would donate. Do it again, we donate it to the firefighters right. anyway. To the the library. Right. Yeah. I mean, I would I would feel better raising that to 750, and then and then if they wanted a reduced rate to come back and say, you know, we, we would be having a fundraiser for you know somebody in the military or the mm -hmm. firefighters, and we, we'll vote on a reduced rate for that. Um, I just I, I just don't like charging them the same rate when they're making money off of it. More like they're making right, money but off it's of a person. non it's a nonprofit rate. You know, they're making money for a cause. They're not making money for their pockets. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Mr. Higgins switching over there, so I'm going to talk about Mr. Higgins. I don't have to stand, do I? No, you don't have to stand now. Stand no. <laughs> um, do we still have 10% for Hanson residents? We do. Yes. That's okay, true. so Frank, I'd like to meet you in the middle. If you raise both rates to $550, they'll, they would get $55 off. It would be $495 for Hanson residents either way. The first thing that I'm going to look at and I ran softball for 10 years, mm -hmm. is what you're going to charge me. Yeah. And if you're going to charge me 750, mm -hmm. I'm going to the AA, because they're 500. Right. I, and that makes sense. But also, you know, on, on, the, on the rate schedule that you have here, if you have something that says, you know, call for potentially a reduced rate or something like mm -hmm. that. I'm not calling. Yeah, I, I agree with Jim. I'm I, not calling. I've done I'm, a lot of... I'm, the I'm going to call the Hanson AA, mm -hmm. see if they have the date that I want. If they don't, I want to keep it in town, um, and I'm going to call you guys. Mm -hmm. Because it's going to cost me $250 more, and even if I do it as a citizen and not as an organization, I'm getting $75 off, so I'm still going to pay $675, whether it's a fundraiser or a party or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, I'm still paying $175 more, and you know, Audrey, um, and full disclosure, mm -hmm. Audrey and I were in softball together. Mm -hmm. $175 mm -hmm. is six dozen softballs. Right. Yeah. 
Okay. I mean, and yeah. The I mean, AA that's, that's... also is four hundred for members. So, you know, I could call Ed and ask Ed to book me a function. You know, at four hundred dollars even. The members there. <laughs> okay. One of the girls um, just broke. You're gonna need a new desk. <laughs> <laughs> five fifty. <laughs> eight fifty. Right. Eight fifty now because we need to be the resolution. Yeah. Um, I, okay, so um, I mean, I, I guess I guess the five hundred will be fine for it. Um, yeah. yeah. Again, we do get a. I mean, there are occasional fundraisers that. Do, don't have the liquor, you know, permit. Mm -hmm. But for the most part, when you're talking the comedy night and you're talking, you know, the what was the night we we did with the friends, the um, vaudeville thing, you know, like those nights. Yeah. The, and even the libraries um, trivia, trivia night, night. You know that that those are big bar nights. Mm -hmm. So I think for the most part, you're gonna you're gonna see a big bigger bar night. Okay. <clears throat> Um, all right, and then kitchen rentals. Um, the Dory had the previous rate as a hundred dollars per day. I don't know what that, what the hours are for that, but um, so this is if someone wants to come in and just use the kitchen. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I would. I mean, I don't think this is like a no a, a high flyer thing. So it hasn't gone on since because the kitchen was all we needed something to be done to it. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. We had the gas problems. Right. That was still working on. But yeah. I mean, but that was. I mean, uh, we never rented it out per se. It's been years. Mm -hmm. I don't know if they did it under when Jim was here. We never rented it out. No. Okay. I don't think so. Um, it was always there to be done. We rented out. Yeah. It, we never. Yeah. So. Uh, for the for the hours in here, I would say five hours would probably okay. be the sufficient for that. If it's forty bucks an hour right. or something like that, if they want to rent it, you know, okay. it's a, it's a, just just so we can put a number on it. And yep. you know, I think five hours is pretty reasonable. Because I think it was the history club that wanted to do it one year and wanted to cook their own turkeys here, but there was a, a problem with mm -hmm. the stove and everything mm -hmm. else. But they were the only ones that I've ever heard that even asked about mm -hmm. the historical commission that had done that okay. one year. I think once I think once the kitchen is back up and running. Um, and people start to use it more. I, mean, mm -hmm. I think then they'll, they'll, you know, it'll, it'll, it'll generate something. It's not mm -hmm. gonna be, you know, it's not gonna. We're not gonna have Lamborghinis in the parking mm -hmm. lot. But mm -hmm. um, okay. No, I have a question though. What's the plan to getting the the new stove and everything up and running? Where's in the the hood, the vent, and all that? Is there a plan we behind that? A, we have to get a contractor first of all. Yeah. And that we've got the plan is there for what has to be done, but we're waiting for the building department to approve the contractor. You know, I think we just got the names from it. I know um, Brian, that was on the commission, did talk to Dory, mm -hmm. I don't know, yesterday or just today, but he has talked, not today, well, it had to have been yesterday, that he talked to Dory, and uh, he was giving her the update on all of that, but we needed to get a, a building permit that this building commissioner is very, very strict in his rules of how things need to be done. He gave us the name of Gordon Lincoln and then told us we couldn't use Gordon Lincoln. Now does that firewall have to come down? <laughs> you have okay. to, they gave us the names. So, so he started the quoting and started the project and now halfway through the building inspector told us that we needed a general contractor and he's not a general contractor so now we can't use him. And every general contractor is out until June. Um, there was, there was well, talk. Okay, so, so, okay, so when we do, let, we can handle the, we can handle the, 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 the roof in the kitchen mm -hmm. under the team reports. So we'll mm -hmm. go there. Let's just finish yep. this, and then we can go yep. there. So, um, company workshop, thousand dollars for a five hour rental of the lodge only. That's yep. an existing rate. I don't think mm -hmm. that's a, a big event, you know, a big um, rental. So I think keeping that the same as. Could I just ask one quick question? Yeah. Going back to the stoves, um, I know the blodget oven was repaired, like stripped, taken apart and everything, mm -hmm. repaired this year. Is there any way that like, the bottom pilot can be looked at, like fixed, maybe replaced with a new one? That because was supposed to have been done. The, the top one, the one in the middle, like the top two things, yeah. that one lights up no problem. But the one on the bottom, you literally, like I myself, have had to like press my thumb to it and like literally lay on the floor and wait for the thing to light. Okay, then that should be brought up because that was supposed to be fixed at the same time. It's seen, I mean, Roger so, has seen me do it. I mean, I've seen you do it. Take that Dory. I think yeah. Roger brought it up before too. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so 
So, okay, so let, let's also handle oh, that. Let's, that. let's <laughs> also <laughs> handle <laughs> that. Can I just add one more thing, if you don't mind? Does it have to do with the rate? It's just a kitchen. You have a kitchen. Okay, let's do that in the tea request. Let's do that in the tea request. Sorry. All right. Okay, so we're almost done with some rates and stuff like that. We're almost done. We're almost done. Okay, so card camping. $40 for a cabin, $40 on the small and large electric. Mm -hmm. I think that's fine. That's reasonable. <coughs> the Frontier, I think we could bump up from 80 to 100. The cottage, I think we could bump up from 125 to 200. The chalet, 60, I think is fine. The pavilion is um, $250 for a four hour function. Um, and then the south end and pavilion are 700 i think we should bump that up to 800 to keep it a little bit in line with what we're charging for the weddings mm -hmm. and then um the north end and frontier i think we could leave at 500. Um, that's what the current rate was so yeah. how many ca i mean with all the damages and how many cabins do we have on each end south end's 15. 15. what's it 18 for the north end i think so I don't know, wait until another numbered, windstorm, then we'll tell you. There's either maybe 17 or 18. 18 numbered, but I don't know that there's... Right. So, I think it's 17. That's the last number out there. No, I know, but we have a crushed. couple that are missing. It's yeah. 15 yeah. because yeah. 4 doesn't exist. Yeah. yeah. And then um, 16 got crushed. Down. Right, 4 got crushed. Yeah. yeah. Okay. 4 is technically the bathhouse. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, so, any questions on the other rates? Yeah. So, Aside, the, so the only thing we're updating is that kitchen rental fee to 150. Yeah. On the on the cabins, I think they should be more expensive. I think this should be 60 for the cabins, 60 for the regular cabins, um, 70 for the electric cabins. Well, like, one of the electric cabins is the size of that desk. It's tiny. <laughs> yeah. So. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, I'm not kidding. Just, I'm just the size of that. Okay. <laughs> So, I mean, so I mean, maybe, maybe, keep, maybe, keep, maybe keeping it 60 you know, so would, 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 would be better. Yeah. Um, I think 40 is too low for cabins. I mean, some of those cabins that are up at 40, you can fit, you know, two, three people in, you know, it, it, it's a cabin. I mean, I've, I've paid more for tent sites mm -hmm. without, without electricity. Yeah. So I think that, you know, and plus the citizens of Hanson still get a discounted rate on the cabins as well. So right. people coming in. So I think uh, at the minimum, it should be $60 for the cabins. Uh, maybe the electric and the small electric and can be sixty dollars as well. Um, and then I'll get one in one second, Mr. Hickey. One second. Then, uh, <laughs> one second. You're killing me over there. And then the frontier, I think, should probably be one hundred and twenty. Um, and then the chalet should be um, should be one hundred. Mr. Hickey. Chalet is uh, Well, I'll, can I go to the beginning then? Yes. Um, yes. Because it's simple math. Yep. <coughs> With Audrey saying she wanted. Um, three hundred fifty thousand mm -hmm. uh, dollars. The first number was three thirty. The second number was three seventy. Mm -hmm. uh, so if the rates are seven thousand across the board, that should come out to three hundred fifty thousand. Your twenty thousand short with one number. Your twenty thousand right. with the other number. The number in the middle of seven thousand that gives you three hundred fifty thousand. But that also is not guaranteed income. So I would like to be a little bit higher on the high side. So that way, if we don't hit forty weddings. Then we're still we're still in good shape. Okay, perfect. And if we have overs, then we can get new chairs and new tables and you know things like yeah. that. You know, work on that. Yeah. Well. <laughs> yeah. So. Uh, as far as raising the rates on the cabin, Frank. Um, I mean, it's easy just to say raise them, but I don't know what kind of research was done. Obviously, we had COVID nineteen, so the cabins weren't rented out. Mm -hmm. But how many cabins did you rent? 2018, 2017. We don't have that data. Okay. Nothing's I, online. I, so I, I can tell you from that. somebody who doesn't who doesn't have a pop up or anything like that trail. When I go tent camping, forty dollars. I, I even in state parks, which are the like bottom of the barrel like New Hampshire, it's forty five dollars a night with, with just a tent site, right? And I'm I'm not saying that I'm not saying that it's it's you know it, we're not we're obviously not in New Hampshire. We're in Hanson, but sixty dollars for a sheltered place where you don't have to bring your own tent or set it up or anything like that, that that's a that's a very reasonable rate. Okay. So Sixty dollars is a very reasonable rate. Yeah, and there's yeah. beds and if we have cots here that people can use for them too and everything yeah. like that. I mean sixty dollars that that's still a steal. I mean if you went up to any of the state parks, uh, a cabin like that would be 115, 120 dollars easy, mm -hmm. you know, for okay. for two or three people. Mm -hmm. Um I didn't do research particularly on like the you know this area but I uh, 
done a lot of camping, so I kind of know. <laughs> not not too much, but just you don't look like a camper. Huh? I don't. No, I don't. I'm a city boy, so you know. Um, I think sixty dollars is too high to go to. I mean, you're you're t giving these price increases, but you've got to realize that you know. People have been hit by COVID. They're still not working right. I mean, they're complaining they'd like to do things, but if you price them out of the picture, which is what sixty dollars would be to me. So I yeah. think that we should yes. there should be a middle ground in that. And there is the the, the citizens of Hanson get a ten percent discount on it, right? So mm -hmm. it would be fifty four dollars for them, right? I mean, it's great if somebody from Bridgewater wants to come over here, and they've been hit by COVID, and you know they can't afford, but. Hey, I'm a caretaker from Rockland. Can I get it this year? <laughs> <laughs> Double the price, actually. <laughs> Double the price. <laughs> Come on, guys. So, <laughs> don't raise me. You see somebody like we're born in a great point. And my point to you would be, if you bumped it up 10 bucks, the citizens of Hanson are only going to pay 45 But if I'm paying 54 to sleep on a wooden cot, mm -hmm. and I'm seven minutes down the road, mm -hmm. I'm going to sleep in my own bed, not rent it, and then come down here the next morning. I'm, okay, you know, I, 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 I get that, but honestly, it's, it's the difference between $45 and it's, it's $9 difference for it, right? I mean, like, you, you go, if you're gonna, it, it's part of the experience that you're paying for. You're not staying there for the comfort of oh, Camp Kauai, right. the cot, right? I forgot your I mean, if, if, you're, <laughs> if, you're, if, if, you're, if you're seven minutes down the road, you're bed, and you have your, your pillow and your bed, and your house is okay. everything like that. Go seven minutes down the road, but you're not coming here to camp at Camp Kiwani. You know, you're here for the experience of camping at Camp Kiwani. You're not here for the. Ex I mean, okay. And I feel like, I mean, when's the last time we actually raised these rates? That's 19, 1968. <laughs> 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 Mr. Hickey was chairman of the right race. Oh, see? Yeah. 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 All right, I get it. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, so, so, I mean, they haven't been raised in a long time, and Frank's right. You're here for the experience. You get the you get the waterfront. You get free access to the cove while oh, you're here. Right. You you get, well, you, well, you get the <laughs> well, I mean, Although I have a camper. Right? Is there anybody on the rec commission that's not a camper? Okay, there you go. Maybe oh, maybe, maybe, maybe one of the Boy Scouts. So maybe when the Boy Scouts get here, and you know, if, if they want to go clean up and make some tent sites or something like that, we'll charge thirty dollars for the tent site so people can come. Mm -hmm. and I know. I took yeah. those. I actually took those off. We did have tent site rates, but there are no tent sites anymore up there. They're no, long so. gone. Okay. You can't even make so. out where they were. So. I, I, I mean. All right, okay. so I have the update on the cabins and small electric at 60, Frontier 120, Cottage 200, Chalet 100, the Pavilion 250 for four hours, the South End and the Pavilion 800, and the North End and Frontier 500. Okay, go back to that list again. The cabins, you want to go raise it to what, 60? Mm -hmm. 60. I still think it's too high. I think you're going to lose a lot of people doing it. You'll get it for the weddings, but you're not going to get it for... Individual camping. Can I ask a question while we're on the camping too? In the tent sites? We were clearing an area out back of the south end strictly for tents. Yeah. What's going on with that? Is that, that going, should be not gonna happen? Still in there that there used to be tent sites up there. John Siemens yeah. created four okay. tent sites up there um, fifteen years ago. Yeah. And there's no there's you can't even tell where they were. There are yeah. no more tent sites up there. So no, remember when mm -hmm. I, mean, I was just up there last week and I was like, Jim, do you remember where the tent sites were? Yeah. You no, this was no um, pretty much to talk crust looking into Smitty's blog, that area there. Yeah. Right off the yeah. trail. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's where they were. Yeah. yeah. So I mean what's the potential of bringing those back? We did not <clears throat> use them ever. We never had the only the only people that ever used the tent sites were the Boy Scouts. That was it. And the last time I thought I shut this thing up, but I can't get it. <laughs> do we have a So, I mean, we're getting into the conversation of the Hanson citizens coming here and camping and, and paying. Do we have data on how many people actually come here from Hanson to camp? We don't have any data. Because Nothing is electronic. Okay. <laughs> Can I ask one more question, Frank? I don't think he has citizens from Hanson. Is there a way for us to kick him off? <laughs> <laughs> don't invite me back. <laughs> 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 yeah, I think Mr. Hickey, go ahead. Is there a discounted rate if they're going to stay a week? We do not have a discounted rate. We do have a maximum. You can't stay more than two weeks. Okay. When I was on the commission, uh, we had a family that rented every year for like... Mm -hmm. 
They still do. They grow bananas. Oh, they yeah, do? Yeah, oh, they okay. were in this year. I think it was their 40th year or something yeah. like that this year. Yeah. And yeah. you don't give them a discount? I don't know if the I believe we their used to rate them is lower than what the other rates have been. It was one that was decided on, in, I think, the first year we were here because there was a big discussion on it. And I think, I don't know if it's $1,700 or something like that. But there is a rate that, that they usually get. Okay. And it is a, and the, I, I can't remember exactly, but I know 1700 works on my head for some reason. But uh, he, he rents all the cabins on the south end. And I don't know that he hasn't asked for additional cabins, but uh, he's always taken them. And we, there was a big discussion the first year that we re reorganized back yeah. in 2017, was it? Yeah. So, <laughs> so when we reorganized that first year, there was a big discussion. I have to go back to find it. Yeah, well, I think that would just go under the reduced rate of yeah, the that's, right. yeah, you don't like have the to The job is always going to be just family. because of their Still longevity here. Right. And because of the number of cabins. That, they yeah. worked out against the number of cabins that are now available mm -hmm. down there since we have had a couple of them that couldn't be used, mm -hmm. so they did it, readjust the rates. Mm -hmm. And I think he might have even been able to get a couple of not then ones to, in substitution. Mm -hmm. is, it, is it possible, so I know we don't have them right now, but if we bring them back in the future, the tent sites, is it possible to put a line on here just for tent sites? Sure. And if we brought back, let's mm -hmm. say, $30 a night for tent sites, yeah. it would probably be reasonable. Didn't we have is that too expensive, Mr. Hickey? <laughs> $20 I'm not sleeping in a tent. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm trying to get you $60, I'm, I'm sorry, $54 yeah, for my yeah, account. Didn't we have Santa? the Boy Scouts ca tent camp this past summer? Yeah, they, they go for a week. Though. Though. Yeah, they go everywhere. They they, they, they go came here. The they came here, and they yes. they went up because it was they cold. did some in the frontier yeah. end, okay, up there. Yeah. But they also did some. One year they did it in front of each one of the ends, the cabins up there. Yeah. They set up and they could only have two persons yeah. in it. Before it used to yeah. be four persons in a cabin. I mean, in the tent, but yeah. now it reduced down to two, so they let them do it in yeah, the they, 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 they don't do like the campsites, though. They don't do like they don't do like tent sites. They right. Do, they right. Make their, yeah, they make, make their, their own. own. They yeah. make their own tent yeah. I'm yeah. talking about like if we have those three tent sites, like that are specific own, sites. specifically having those three tent sites okay. as. We do tent have sites. as yeah. occupancy yep. restrictions. So before, oh. We do have four people on tent sites in yeah. our yeah. policies. People Four people. Sites. Right, but because of COVID, we had to reduce it down to two people in the campsite. That was yeah. that was part of the rules that I mean, was that happening. Make sense. So Four last people? year, Four tent sites. That's that's. It used to be four people on the tent, but but because of COVID. So you have to follow the rules right. Now, right? So if the, if that's if that's the case, then that should definitely that should definitely be increased because four people on ten site is terrible. Because <laughs> I mean I I'm, I'm five people by myself, right. you know, well, not by myself, but with the kids and everything, and um, you know, we usually just go. What do you want to do? Six? Yeah, I would say six is, is okay. reasonable. So even if we had the campsites out back to, right? Mm -hmm. You can bring it back. Supposedly there's talks that you could camp back there, but you couldn't have a fire. Which is kind of pitiful when you go camping and camp have a fire. Who said you couldn't have a fire? It was just talk about it at the office when we were um, told to clear out there. Is there a fire pit there? No, there's nothing back there. I mean, I don't, I don't mind burning my smoky the bear to bed and stamping out forest <laughs> fires, but you have to <laughs> there's no water up there, at least the north end and the south end. You know, they have little water jugs which they usually just tip over or dries up in the sun. Um, or the bathhouses are right there if they needed to. But up there, where it's so secluded, you can't see anything. That's probably a question for uh, the fire department. I would say I don't think that you know that's our call to make. A, you can have fires up there, or you can't have fires up right. there. Especially no. where you have to have those water, those water things now. Yeah. So I mean, I think if you created a fire pit up there and duplicated that. Well, yeah, that's it. I mean, it, like yeah. you said, it, it doesn't even know if it's going to happen up there now. So. Right. But just uh, to if it do does, it. just to kind of. Yeah. Okay. So what do we have to do for this? Do we have to go back to this? Okay, okay, so, we got this. All right, so then the overall no, budget. Sorry. This okay. gentleman had a great idea. I'm sorry. You're fine. Who, <laughs> <Well>, me? <You're> <laughs> with what? Should we hand out smoking the bear? The well, with the, the camp sites up there. Yeah. Um, and I'd be absolutely right. We'd have to be checked out with the fire marshal. Probably you'd want the chairman to do that. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> and then, you know what, Frank, if you're a camp. I'm going to the Santa Cruz <laughs> next week. <laughs> 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 the scouts. 
it would be a perfect project for them to build the fire pits, you know, to get yeah. their, mm -hmm. their well, they could, scouts. They could help the other folks, the Boy Scouts with the other ones. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah, they can match. It would yeah. be nice. Yeah. That's a big project. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you'd be killing two birds with one stone. Mm -hmm. the, the fire pits get built, and a boy scout or two end up with a regal badge. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's real community stuff right there, mm -hmm. Frank. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. So, what would we do? $60 for the uh, cabins? 60 for the cabins, the electric, and the regular cabins. Yeah. 120 for the frontier. I added 30 for tent sites. Yep, 30 for 10 sites. Um, <laughs> Wait a minute. Okay, cottage is what? Joan, I'll send this out to you. 200. I'll email this to Dory so she can get this out to everybody. Yeah. We didn't change the cottages, Joan. The 200, okay. 200 yeah. would be for the cottages. The, the, the chalet would be 100. The pavilion would be 250 for four hours. And the okay. southeast and the pavilion would be 800. Yeah. And then the northeast, the frontier would and be 100. And then we put 10 sites. And then we put 10 sites as 30. Mm -hmm. 30? Yeah. Because mm -hmm. then now have 10 dollars. Ten dollars. Mm -hmm. Ten dollars a site. Okay. Um, so yeah. going to the budget page. So Dory had given me the fiscal year twenty budget because that was like the last full year, really, that we had all of our expenses before COVID. Um, and so. Okay, we haven't finalized twenty twenty one yet. That doesn't come up until May. All right. So, um, so our budget. So the first two are our budget and our actual. It shows this is exactly as it is on those sheets that Dory gives to us. Our, um, um, so, <clears throat> uh, rec director. Um, obviously, we don't need that now. Um, camp staff. Uh, the budget was sixty thousand. The actual was forty seven. Um, clerical was forty three. The actual was twenty nine. I'm not sure. Um, why that's so low, but um, because this fiscal year it's 51,000, um, and I think we're hitting close to that. Um, and then we have co-staff, uh, and then our budget for everything else, electricity, gas, water, building repairs. Um, so I did, what did I do? I added the fisc like our fiscal year this year, what it is and how reduced it is, it's, it's cut by half. Um, and we're in the negative and we've, we've taken from some lines, like the, the report that Dory just gave to us today, um, the one that I have from a couple weeks ago, there are money in lines that aren't there now because she's basically stealing money from all these lines to, to pay um, bills. So this fiscal year 2022 budget is not really accurate because she's been pulling money from everywhere. So I think we should just ignore that. Um, and just really kind of base off of the fiscal year 20. So my recommended updates are um, the camp staff has been consistent. Well, it was 47, but I think if we keep that at 60, we're fine. Clerical support I'd like to bump because we'd like to, um, we're talking about potentially bringing Renee in as a more permanent part-time um, event coordinator type role. But that comes under a different line. Clerical support is what the AA is. Okay. What, that's, Dor that's Dory's line. Okay. That line there is Dory. Okay. And, um, and then rest. Cove staff, um, I bumped it up to 35000 from 33 and fiscal year 20. Um, and then electricity, I left it the same. Natural gas, I dropped it because we didn't even use half the budget in fiscal year 20. Water, I left the same. Building repairs, I left the same. Even though we use less than half, I think that number, that number at 11,000 is a good number because you just never know what's gonna happen. Contracted services, I added because our budget was 15,000. And we spent almost twenty-three thousand, so I jumped that to twenty-five. Phone I dropped from twenty-five hundred to a thousand. Advertising I dropped by half. Um, linen service I added quite a bit, just because if we're expecting a spike in weddings, we're going to be using a lot more linens, which we then we bill for. Right. You know, that's a, that's an income, that's a revenue for us. Um, Office supplies I dropped down because they didn't use close to what their original budget was. Maintenance supplies, same thing. Um, they used less, far less than half. 
cleaning supplies. Um, I dropped out a little bit. Vehicle and fuel repair, I would assume that's the Gator, because what other vehicles do we have? We don't, we don't have a truck anymore, so. Um, program supplies, um, I added to that in special events, I added to meeting and mileage, I dropped that. I, I, we didn't use it, so I don't know what that's going to be. I would assume that Dory. maybe for Dory, it's just going to go like, and things like that. I don't know. Um, Jack Heen used to put in for mileage when he had to do things. I don't know. Um, but he had a... I think one year we had something like $150 that came up under there. I don't know what for. All I know yeah. is that it was on that line yeah. that they used $150 yeah. for the I mean, it's a, it's a good it's, it's good to have it there yeah. just in case yeah. you know, somebody During needs to go to, somewhere or yeah. something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. something like that. Um, Cove expenses, I, I jumped that by 1000 Um and then I added some lines here because we're not going to have that $45,000 for the recreation director. So I tried to add some of it down here. I put $10,000 in for recreation because we don't have a recreation line unless that's what the special events was. Like, I don't know what the special events in yeah, the program is. supplies, like, I don't know what those lines are meant to be used for. I mean, special events probably was something that we, if we sponsored something on ourselves and had it, then that would be that money okay. would come from the. So then, yeah, so then words, we should no call money, that. No deposits that are made and no, no payments that are made. Like if you have a fundraiser, it was $400. Mm -hmm. I mean, you're changing it now, but I mean, it was $400 mm -hmm. for a, to get an agreement. Mm -hmm. And 80 20s were different. Mm -hmm. so, Maybe special events, slash okay. recreation. Yeah, slash, yeah. yeah, so I definitely think we need to have a higher um, budget in here for recreation. Um, it's, it's really nice that we have so many small businesses in town that help support us, but we shouldn't have to scramble every time we want to have something up here to beg for money. Um, and then um, lodge event updates. I didn't know how to word that, but that's more for like chairs, tables, you know, it'd be nice to have a budget for that kind of stuff. Um, and then a wish list item, um, just for just random things that, you know, ha you know, we want to pick up throughout the year in the camp. Um, miscellaneous fiscal year 20, I think these were all town meeting lines, which don't really apply to us um, for fiscal year 23 because we haven't asked for anything. So, um, that's it. So given all of that, the based on the $350,000 budget, our weekly expense, like our weekly costs to operate this camp, if you boil that down to 52 weeks a year, it's $6,700 a week just to run Camp Kiwani. So I think we have a pretty good um, um, backup, pretty good backup to bring to the Board of Selectmen to um, hold Give it to wage and personnel. It, it goes to wage and personnel and that you have to work. And even with wage and personnel, you have to have a meeting with them because you need to change the rates and the updates for the upcoming town meeting. There's one whole section that all those rates and the cold rates have always been listed at minimum wage, but that's not where you have to start. Cold rates, cold rates. We're not talking about salaries, though. We're just talking about about rates. I mean, the only salary that rates, we're talking I about. I understand that, program. but when you yeah. go to, but rates are still wage and personnel have to approve, don't they? No, no, well, no this is this so so the, the rates and then there's the budget. It's just the. the, it's just um, the if we want to change the, the, the scales on the caretaker salaries and we want to change, you know, we want to add um, a position, change a position, change a job description, that's wage and personnel. But that's not just that rentals. That you have to do this I mean, year. So yeah, but then your budget would go directly to Todd before it hit us. Right. Yep. So, yeah. cutting the recreation director salary from the 45000 essentially nothing. That would just make it that we don't have a recreation director. We need do we need major personnel for that to take that line out to cut the salary yep. for the personnel? No, because no, it's, it's not in our budget this year. Okay. Um, it's just zero dollars. I mean, it's still all line. Line. My name yeah, is there. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. So if we had if we had a situation where we wanted when we had a you know somebody who wanted to be the recreation director. It's not even on our it's not even on our expenditure report. 
Right now we just have no, the camera. Yeah, 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 but it has been up yeah. until this this last one. Right. Right. But yeah, last so it just year, yeah, and not, I, it's not on here. And I think that's why clerical support bumped so much was because Dory was putting. Dory's in yeah, she's hours. putting in a lot more hours, right. and I did talk to her about yeah. that. I, I um, and we were paying her. Right. right. So I asked her what she was doing in addition to her regular duties that was causing that and. What she told me was basically what the head caretakers used to do. Mm -hmm. So it's um, I actually have my well organized notes. <laughs> um, so she said to me, what did she say? Um, so she just does a lot for the facilities. Mm -hmm. She manages like the projects, like the stump projects and the landscaping procurement. Um, you know, calling somebody when a light needs to be fixed, the doors issue, insurance issues, um, any damages, working with Gordon Lincoln. Yeah. And those were all things that the caretakers used to do. Mm -hmm. Which I think... When you had a full-time caretaker, but we don't have We a never had a full-time caretaker. Jack Keen was a full-time caretaker. I'm talking after Jack Keen. I understand yeah. that, but I mean, but the full caretakers didn't do it. As yes, far they as did. I know, they no, did they it. Didn't. They did all the phone calling and yeah. set up all Jim and everything. Scott. Yeah. Jim and Scott and Chris did all of that. They managed everything that happened outside of and inside here. They took care of everything. It wasn't Jack. I mean, Jack did it when, but Jack was alone for the most part. Yeah. Um, but when um, Jim was the head caretaker, he he did all this stuff. So this, these the things that she's doing are, in my opinion, caretaker duties. I mean, I know that when, I wasn't part of the rec director, though. The rec director came after um, right. I left the commission. So I think a lot of those caretaker duties went to the rec director position. Now the rec director position is gone. They should go back to caretakers, in my opinion. Um, to that, Yep. because me, Roger, and uh, uh, the rest of us, when there's something going on, we go through Dory right. because of the, the cost constraint. Right. We, we just don't make phone calls without knowing that it could be paid for. So right it now, does fall on Dory's prices. shoulders right. because yeah. of that. Right. If that right. makes any sense. It does, okay. yeah. Because we're in a budget, you know, I think <clears throat> we're in a budget crisis right now. Yeah. But before they knew, they knew what they had, they knew what they could spend. Yeah. 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 So. Right. At this point, we can't just do that. Right. 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 Okay. Um, so I actually forgot to close our discussion and vote on rate increase. Shame on me, because we're already over that. But this is the fiscal year twenty. Well, this is just backup to okay. show. This really isn't okay. the budget okay. that you know that's on the agenda. This is just okay. um, this is just some backup to show where all our costs go okay. to, so that when we present this to the board of selectmen, they see like, holy crap, you guys need a lot of money. Do we <laughs> need to vote on this on um, which rate? Yes, we do. Yes. Yeah, we need to vote on much rate. Yep. Um, I mean, I... So do you guys want to take time with this to digest it? And then, I mean, I suggested, because we're not going to meet with the Board of Selectmen until the 14th um, to have their approval. So if we wanted to just, you know, think about this or whatever. This, this, what is, this, this is this our month? last This is our December? last meeting for December. Okay, so you don't want to maybe um, have another one? Um, I mean, we can or if you yeah. want. Well, I suggested that we did it on the 13th, just had a quick meeting just to kind of finalize the stuff. The one last thing that I did do that is not part of this because it kind of came in after was Melissa had given me the comps that they got from other campgrounds mm -hmm. and, the, um, and then I also reached out, um, I created a wedding wire account. <laughs> Congratulations, I'm engaged. <laughs> Congratulations, how did it happen? <laughs> Married 20 years. <laughs> the campgrounds um, have a wedding wire account. We don't, the yeah we do. But um, so I reached out to a bunch of places, Waverly Oaks, just to get some local comps, Waverly Oaks and the Villa got back to me. Um, Melissa had Ohana Campground in Vermont. Their two-night weekend is $8,400, and it does not include the catering. So that would be, I mean, other than two nights camping, you know, and it's in Vermont. Camp Wing in Duxbury is very close to what we do here. <laughs> Like they very, like the facility is very close to. Very it. I don't close. Know if anyone's been there. The campground, yeah. the water. They have a lodge. They have a lodge. All the stuff included in their wedding package. No catering. Fifteen thousand dollars. Nice. Must be nice to listen. Yeah. Must be nice. So and that includes the camping. So I think comp comp wise, um, Waverly Oaks and Plymouth, 
their average their average wedding at a minimum is twenty three thousand dollars. The average wedding at the villa in Hanson is twenty two thousand five hundred dollars. So I think that by raising the rates to seventy five hundred dollars, we're still well below yeah. a lot I've of been, our area. I've been and I'm in the event industry. I work with hotels and facilities, and I've been pushing for to raise rates here mm -hmm. for years. Mm -hmm. We're comfortable since I've been. It's mm -hmm. just we're so cheap. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I I think the seventy five hundred dollars is. I mean, I think that's a good rate. Yeah, mm -hmm. I I mean. Uh, John, what do you think? I think that jumping that high so soon, I think it should be done a little bit more in in increments rather than. I think we should probably go in the middle between what we are now charging and the seventy five hundred. Maybe the they haven't. Months. You guys haven't raised rates since you've been a commission. We tried. Right, but you haven't. So what but I'm saying is that these rates, it down. these rates are probably ten years old. I understand. So that you. seems like a big jump. But it's really not because we but have to the people rates. that have been looking at it, it will be considered a big jump. Yeah, I know it's ten percent, and they still get a discount for the being town of Hanson. But most of our people are from out of town. If you mm -hmm. look at the people, but I still say the, the, the last time when we tried to raise rates and we weren't raising them by that much, we got voted down. Mm -hmm. So, but I, mean, I feel like this this shows, and this is black and white, like. Well, we did that is, the last time too, but we can argue back that the so, prices at this place and that. But I, think, I don't think the situation was as dire as it is now. So okay, so so on, on that note, <laughs> no, on that note also, so to, to Joan, Joan, you have a point, right? Like, I mean, that is a big jump. But um, in my opinion, since most of our weddings are booked out into 2022, you kind of wouldn't see the jump until 2023. Right. I mean, I, I think I think. I, I just don't want to discourage people from coming here, and that's what's going to happen. I think if you raise it too high, but that's my personal opinion. Well, I mean, we would we would discourage them now, or we discourage them in two years mm -hmm. at, at that rate, though. Joan, sure. so yeah, I, I see a lot of people here as well as the other caretakers. I'm sure people are coming here because it's wicked cheap. Mm -hmm. Right. They're, they're telling us as caretakers that it's so cheap here. Right, I understand so I that, think, but I'm not saying not raise rates. No, I I'm just that. saying that going from four thousand dollars to seven thousand five hundred—that's yeah. a lot of. That's a big amount. At the same time, I think the other places they're going to go up higher as well. Right. Well, I think they're. Well, they're we're still, their we're still wicked cheap. Yeah, they have. To. You know, we're still that's wicked right. cheap. You know, wicked. compared to the area. And what other places are getting? You just ask for opinions. I'm yeah, not yeah. My opinions. <laughs> That's fine. Um, Most to the vote. I mean, so two things. Uh, your budget for replacement chairs and stuff like that. I didn't catch the number. Is it big enough to handle replacing most, if not all, picnic tables this year? We have no choice. That goes to, that's this, not this, included in the, well, yeah, this budget, the budget, but. The, no, it doesn't. Um, <laughs> well, it has wish list, it has a wish list right. on here. Well, this is it the only a, wish. Right. Uh, well, it would, you know, it would be. It would it's be got, done, you know, yeah. maintenance um, in here, too. Roger, how many picnic tables do we need? Oh, Jack, oh, Jack, you can say that. We've been yeah. throwing them away once, one after We need a lot. Uh, as far as a number, I don't have a number. Okay. But I mean, it could be could it be building repairs? I don't know. But I mean, they're we, all beyond repairs. We would need we would need to know. Like we yeah. would need to. These are the things that we need to okay. know. And to to Bill's yeah. point with the lack of communication, you know, yeah. these are things that we that we need to know. Okay. I know Roger has been has been talking about it, yeah. but you know, this is where I think we need somebody that's gonna say, all right, we need picnic tables, we need chairs, we need replacement tables. This is how much it's gonna cost because yeah. we don't we don't know that, you know. Um, and we, I'd love to build that into our budget so that, um, but we also, looking at fiscal year for 2023, we're not going to have that $350,000 goal money. We're not going to make it because most of our functions are at this original rate. So this is going to be pickup weddings for next year that haven't been booked yet that would be on the new rate. Um, but it's still not going to bring us to that three hundred and fifty thousand. So let's close out this discussion. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I, 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 yeah. One more. I'm sorry. I think I know the answer, but I just want to clarify it. Past and future insurance claims has nothing to do with this, correct? 
we will still get that money into our budget to use for yes. Yes. ongoing. Only if we yes. do what 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 replacement. What's, yeah, right. only what's replacement. Yeah, you can't just. But that money's not here. But the money is available right. to be used. Right. When it's okay. available. When it's available right. to be used. Okay. Yep. So okay. So let's close out the discussion. Yep. I mean, I'm ready. I I. I I'm fine with 7,500. I think that I think it's long way to do, yep. and I think you know if the board select and they're going to push back on it, yep. there'll be no pushback. I'm, I'm, I hope not. Um, mm -hmm. But I mean, so uh, that being said, I, I'll entertain a motion for um, raising the rate proposal to 7,500, and then the um, current edits for the um, I'll, I'll call them extracurricular fees and activities and the camping rates as well. Okay. So let me just run through them. Sure. So the motion is to raise the rates to $7,500 for a wedding, $1,000 for South End Camping, to raise the rates on um, a regular party to $100 an hour, $500 for a five, oh, sorry, I wasn't at the top of the page. The kitchen fee for the caterers to $150, ceremony on site to $500, additional setup $150, Additional end two fifty, party rates five hundred dollars flat for five hours or a hundred dollars per hour, fundraisers five hundred dollars an hour or five five hundred dollars flat sorry hundred dollars an hour, um, additional party or fundraiser hours at a hundred dollars, the kitchen rental two hundred dollars for a five hour rental, company workshop a thousand dollars for five hours at the lodge only. Camping rates, $60 for cabins, $60 for small and large, electrics, $30 tent sites, $120 frontier, $200 cottage, $100 chalet, $250 for the pavilion for a four-hour function, south end and pavilion $800 for an overnight stay, north end and frontier $500 for an overnight stay. And tent sites. I said 30. Uh, yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Yep. That. So... That is the motion. So moved. Second. <laughs> Second. All in favor? Four out. Nice job, guys. Awesome. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you, Audrey, for doing that. Yeah, You're thank welcome. you. Yeah, you did a really great job. This is fantastic. Um, okay, new business. Like we, you know, we just kind of hit a discussion on the fiscal year 23 budget um, mm -hmm. and town meeting articles. Um, uh, this is the first time I've been through a town meeting mm -hmm. budget cycle, so, uh, so I don't know if this is an early or... When, yeah, when, do you know, Jim, when those are due? The, the town, town meeting in yeah, May? Yeah, in May. Oh, a week yeah, before town meeting? I don't think, I no, think maybe we should be had to have this yeah, probably. In previous years, I didn't bring it, but usually there's, uh, like in December, we're supposed to do the recreation report, mm -hmm. okay, which is the thing for the whole year, from January to December. Mm -hmm. Then you got got uh, the meetings of the Finance Committee, they're going to be done, and I think that's, uh, if there's one coming up, okay, I can't read, just, is it December well, 7th or something? Yeah, they'll be in they touch with you. Yeah, they'll be in touch with Dory. Okay, yeah. Yeah. So, but there's dates that everything is due by. Okay. Okay, and uh, the policy, like policies and procedures were supposed to be done in December, mm -hmm. but we've been off for that mm -hmm. since we got it now. So, mm -hmm. um, right. so <laughs> do, do we have an issue with, so we're, we're going to have another meeting in December, I think, before the board of selectmen meeting on the 14th. Yeah. So if we meet on the 13th, if we're all available, yep. do you have an issue tabling this until that meeting so we can talk to Dory with it? I think we should have Dory involved in that. What, do you mean the recreation report? Well, the fiscal no, year 23 and the town meeting the, articles. Yeah. This, this, just the d discussion on the 23 budget. Right, because we don't have the article right. written right. up yeah. yet. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, we need to put one in that she was supposed to put, we were supposed to put one in for the CPA, CP, CPC oh. conservation. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, the one. Yeah, that, yeah, that, I yeah that's kind of, yeah, that's kind of what I have for her to discuss that to go over mm -hmm. that. So I'll, yeah. um, You wouldn't be able to do anything without her because she would have to schedule us. Okay, right. so um, we need to vote to table that, right? Um, no, we just no, okay. So, <coughs> Mr. Hickey, can I? It's I'm asking for a friend. Okay, uh, <laughs> someone just texted me. Um, it's very difficult, <clears throat> as you know, to get a line approved to town meeting. My suggestion on recreation lo uh, lodge event updates in the wish list mm -hmm. is to put them in somewhere else. Okay. Uh, without even changing the well, line. Well, I think, so I think we approve an operating budget. All of those lines are for us. 
we, nobody sees those lines. Right. Those, all of these, those budget lines. So, we, in the uh, with our with our budget, we the only thing the town hall sees is our um, our payroll, mm -hmm. and they see our operating costs. They don't. They town meeting does those lines are made up by us. Nobody sees them. Yeah, so that's just so for us. Like, there's no like a, there's no like wish list budget. Yeah. Everybody's gonna see it. No, they won't because it's part of operating in costs. The, in the recreation budget, not the not the town budget. So the budget has their okay. the operating. Yeah. It's just the total them. amount that goes to the. Yeah. yeah. So these these are just like pretend it's like an Excel spreadsheet and you're just creating mm -hmm. your own little. You've just got your your budget okay. is all. They're gonna see a hundred thousand dollars. How we break that hundred thousand dollars into, they don't see that. That's just for us because we can steal from it. So like Dory can take from the linen money and pay the gas bill. All that money is just one lump sum to the town, but to us, we break it out into a budget to keep ourselves in line. Okay. Does that make sense? Sure. So we'll, we'll table. So it work the same at town hall. It should. It should. That I only... the operating budget would be fine, but to increase it like you're going to, mm -hmm. everything has to be shown. And when we wanted to increase uh, the budget at Town Hall, mm -hmm. uh, one of the people walked off the stage yeah. and didn't come back. I just want you guys to be careful. If yeah. you create a new line, you know, I mean, uh, you know, Roger had mentioned the picnic tables, uh, and I know it's his uh, building mm -hmm. uh, maintenance. Yeah. But yeah. Picnic tables could be put into that line right. because it is part of maintenance of the property. Right. We have. Yeah. I mean, there is. The, there is. We can concatenate yeah. some of those lines. Yeah. I just. Good. Yeah. I just. The, I just this, want you to be careful. This. This stuff right here. This whole top part. The shaded is the stuff that I added. Right. But all that stuff is already in our. Here it is. So, this is this, this is, is our budget I mean, sheet, for, right? So. So. Like log the only thing that. So this is. This line is salary and wages. Mm -hmm. That's the only thing town. They don't see this when we're when we're up there. Which Same is true. with this. This is our operating expenses. So this is our total operating expenses right here. Is the thirty thousand? They don't see how we break it all out. This is all so, our own little. So what? What we? I mean, if we can cross the bridge, if that if that's a concern down the line, then we'll put yeah. it there. We'll, we can. I mean, yeah. we can put like lodge event updates. Yeah, I just wanted to know. Yeah, yeah. 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 So. I mean, special events. We. I didn't realize that I wasn't sure I'd put a question mark on that because I didn't know what special events were, but it sounds like that's our like recreation. I'm calling it recreation. <laughs> this line called it special events. I mean, because, okay. Frank, you know if I got text by somebody watching this at home. Uh, I'd be very surprised if they're watching it from home right now. It's I not live. That. <laughs> <laughs> it's impressive. <laughs> no, it's kind of creepy. It's going to post that. It's going to be watched by people. Oh, yeah. oh no, I know that. stuff will come back. No, I, I know. So if, if that so open session and not behind closed mm -hmm. doors. Yeah. 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 Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Hickey. Um, so the 23 budget and town meeting articles will table that until Dory gets back. Yep. So um, the only other thing that was on the new business is discussion of the family camping weekend. Um, I wanted this on the agenda um, to bring this back for the town residents to have kind of a um, weekend where they can stay at Camp Kwani. I love it. Um, I was thinking the, the 20th to the 22nd of May, kind of the weekend before Memorial Day. Um, I know a lot of different um, campsites, what they do is they have it the weekend before Memorial Day and mm -hmm. you know if you stay there for free, you just kind of pick up anything yep. that's there and, yep. and kind of make it um, you know a little bit more... Uh, Better looking. Um, I spoke with um, Patrick from the Boy Scouts, and he said that he would be more than willing to have the Boy Scouts here doing activities and things like mm -hmm. that. So I'll reach out to him. Um, I just wanted to book off that weekend if there's no um, events um, there. So I love it. Is um, there? I don't. Well, you know what? I do. I can get that. Oh, I don't have my phone. Okay. The Google um, Calendar. I have the Google Calendar. Okay. There is a wedding. Okay. On is there a wedding the weekend? On Saturday. Dumb. Right. The weekend before, so you're looking at the 6th, 7th, and 8th? That's sure. Mother's Day weekend. No, it's no, maybe not Mother's the, Day. No, it'd be the 14th, uh, 13th, 14th, and 15th. Oh, um, the 13th, they say this is the North End camping event for the weekend. Okay, for the whole weekend. I think it's the Boy Scouts. This is the Boy Scouts, then. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> okay. And you give it to the Boy Scouts, right? I can't. I don't it's, it's not the Hanson Boy Scouts. Yeah, Memorial Day. It's not a charge to the Hanson. I mean, is there any is there any event on Memorial Day? It's Whitman. It's Whitman. So, is there any event on the 27th, 28th, and 29th? 
That is Memorial Day weekend. Twenty seventh, twenty ninth is a wedding. On a Sunday. Yeah. What time? What time do? Um, she doesn't have a time in. It's a rescheduled wedding, but she received her deposit, so it's happening. Okay. Maddie, my friend just texted me again. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> could you tell us the first weekend that is available? Are you looking at either, May either or in, earlier? Either uh, late April or um, late April or May. Yeah, late April would time. be good. Okay. Yeah. I start camping April. April 16th. That's a pretty good time to do it. It's my birthday. Yeah. I mean, the April 29th, 30th, and 1st are okay. not booked. That would be good. 29th, 30th, and the 1st? Yeah. yeah. So that would be good. April. So can we co coincide this with like a, with like you mentioned, Frank, like a clean up Camp Kiwani too? Yeah, that's, that, yeah, that's exactly what we'll be. Okay. Yeah, I mean, we'll have things here, and like the Boy Scouts will, you know, yeah. there'll be fires and stuff, so we'll take all those sticks and everything, mm -hmm. make fires from it and everything like that. So, um, obviously, we're going to we're gonna have to plan it. Yeah. <laughs> but, but um, you know, I know uh, there was, I've been talking to a lot of people who said that they used to have, you know, camping days here. And, yep. and camp for weekends, so. We did that. So, we did, um, we used to do camp, I love this, because we used to do camp cleanup day, which was just a volunteer day. The Boy Scouts were here, they mm -hmm. were residents here, we, we advertised it, and just people came up and we did the, the exact thing that you're talking about. We got all the mattresses out, we cleaned all the mattresses, we got, you know, put everything away, swept out yep. the cabins, got everything ready for the year. We usually did that in April, and then um, we did a family camping weekend with no cleanup, you know, it was just for fun. Um, and we had game, you know, we had candy bar bingo, we had cornhole tournaments, yep. we had s'mores, we had... You know, there was stuff going on all, you know, we had a huge schedule of events. Yeah, I was thinking about the library, so, too. Like, we want to have the library over here and do a movie, things yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah. And they can have it where, yeah, you know, just, yeah, just a lot of stuff. I just yeah. wanted to black out a date so we can we Perfect. can have it and plan so nobody can, can book at that time. So, Matt, are you able to block that off, or do you just have read-only access? I can put in a thing, but it might be worth telling Dory just so okay. she knows that it's there. Right. But I, I'll put it in now, just so she can see what it. What did you say that was? The 29th, 29th and 29th? The 1st of May. Yeah. Um, Friday to Sunday. Sunday. Okay. So the first of May. Yeah. And I'll start reaching out to, or I'll start reaching out to like the library and things like that. Mm -hmm. The only thing that I'm gonna um, try to figure out is how to reserve the cabins for people that are gonna be there. Yeah. Um, obviously, we're gonna we're gonna advertise it on the family, you know, the Facebook pages. Mm -hmm. um, I would like it only to be open to Hansen residents, mm -hmm. not about towners, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. So it's a free event. It, it is. A, it should. It, it will be a free. Hopefully, yep. it will be a free event. Yep. I'm not going to say that until we get everything going, but right. hopefully, it will be a free event. I, I would really so like I it. probably so. still have. Yeah, I don't like you actually keep everything. Yeah. But um, I had done the cabin reservations for the family camping weekend, so when people, you know, call to book, we reserve them as you know cabin. Mm -hmm. So families. We're all, you know, if you wanted to be next to somebody, you were able, you know, you were in cabin 10 and 11 because they were friends or whatever. Yeah. So I still have all of that. Okay. Um, yeah, that'd, that'd be that'd be great if you could forward that yeah. official. Yeah. 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 Mr. Hickey. <laughs> oh, is that me? <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, I have to get home sometime with my wife. I haven't eaten dinner yet, Frank. I've been on the go all day. You may want to reach out to Audrey. Uh, she has all the paperwork. Uh, I wouldn't give the cabins away for free. If you charge a minimal amount, uh, then people feel like they have to come. Uh, if you don't charge anything, they'll come, They'll say they want to come, and then something will happen, and you end up with that. Audrey has all the paperwork from when we did it in 2016. It was very successful. Okay. Um, I think we did breakfast and we did breakfast. dinner. Yep. And then the next m Sunday morning was just continental, yeah. you know, donuts, orange juice, whatever. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it was, it was a blast. Yeah. It's going to sell out quick, right. like real quick. Yeah. We opened it for Hanson residents for three days. Mm -hmm. And then as soon as we put it out there, it sold out within hours. Within an hour. Yeah. Mm -hmm. sold yeah. Out. yeah. That's good. Um, that's good. but we did charge wow. and that's why we did charge just a very little amount. I think it was like $20 a cabin just because if people are paying for something, yeah, they're more likely to come. Mm -hmm. And then we weren't stuck with all these empty cabins because they're like, oh, well, he's got soccer. Let's just forget that and, right. you know, yeah. go do that instead. Yeah, so, and then yeah. food and stuff. So, of right. course, with the yeah. price hikes tonight, they might want to go 30. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 I don't remember what we charged. But <laughs> it, was, it wasn't um, much. We, just so, have to be care we have to be careful because, like, I'm just worried about we're just, our budget is so bad right now. Yes. So yeah. we can't, yeah. look, you know, yeah. we just have to be more cognizant mm -hmm. of that. Yeah, yeah. And uh, that, that's why I'm, I'm 
once I get the approval, I'll go through and stop, you know, figuring yeah. out how much we need to do it. Yeah. Like yeah. that. Do a budget. We'll make it work. We'll do a budget for it. So. <laughs> but you know, Melissa, oh, am I talking again? <laughs> <laughs> this time we're recognized. Just because I don't talk at selectmen's meetings. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you have to lose money to make money. Yeah. But we don't have the money to lose right, right. now. So that's the only thing. Like, yeah, we literally that's... don't have the money to we lose. Yeah, like to pay people. It's very, it's very tight. Um, we're waiting for you know, FinCom to approve a transfer. So that and and even staff. even if they even if they approve the transfer, it wouldn't but be fiscally you wouldn't responsible. Need to yes, yes. The, you wouldn't need caretakers. That again, sorry, folks. Uh, right. If I remember correctly, Audrey, we were all volunteers. Yep. And I got a sweet T-shirt yep. that said "Can't put money on the front, strap on the back." It's well, you can you can bring it to this family camp. And yeah. we can <laughs> I'm I'm call it. Um, okay, so um, do we need to vote on that? We, to vote for the uh, so a motion to block off April 29th to May 1st for the family camping weekend. And you'll let Dory know, Maddie. I just texted her oh, too. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Um, so moved. Second. All those in favor? Thank you. Okay. Um, team reports. Jo? Okay. Oh, I, I passed out paperwork to all of you. There's no need for discussion on any of it tonight. Just read it and take care of it at your next meeting. Okay. If you have on the following one, I forget whatever. I don't have one. I gave it to you. It's one of the paper clips and I just put it on. Mm -hmm. It should be, probably be at the bottom Did of the take pile. It? Here's another one if you don't need it. Yeah, I have plenty. I'll drop some off at Joe's the jury tomorrow with a bunch of other stuff. So. Thank you, Joe. Yeah. But anyway, it's just things that need to be looked at. And some of them concern the 80 20 reports on what we haven't been doing, what we were supposed to be doing with, with the financials. We're supposed to be reviewing all of these bills before they're paid. And the chairman is supposed to sign off because the previous members have already have found lots of mistakes and saved us a lot of money mm -hmm. along the time. And since COVID, we haven't been doing it. So I think it needs to be put back into there. It was part of the, the, the meetings, uh, assignments that we were supposed to do that. But anyway, <coughs> it's just a basic run through of everything that we haven't been doing that we should be doing. Okay. okay. Thank okay. you, Joe. Just read it at your leisure and discuss it. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. Thank you, Joe. Thank you. Um, okay, so. Um, Frank, I'm sorry. We need a team for facilities since both our facilities have resigned. Yes. Should we should we just maybe reestablish that when we have a fuller position? I think we should reestablish that. Okay, nice because board, I so. think that the board of selectmen has some candidates that they're going to vote on on the seventh. Mm -hmm. So one of them maybe. might be Mr. Hickey, since he's so. <laughs> <laughs> No. <laughs> All right. So maybe at the uh, meeting on the third. Yeah. We yeah, we can we can reestablish those. Um, okay. Yeah, we can reestablish those. Okay. So um, team reports is good. Department of updates story is obviously on here. She did send us a list and email yeah. about the active activities in the month of December. Yeah. I I wanted that on there on the agenda at the beginning of every month, just so everybody has a chance to look at it and mm -hmm. say, okay, this event doesn't seem right. This event doesn't seem right. Mm -hmm. Just so because I. I think we've gotten a little detached from all the yep. Yep. all the rentals that were going on. That's yeah. Right. So that's that's one of the yeah. yeah, and that's one of the things that you know hopefully we'll get better at um, mm -hmm. in the future. So um, that's fine. We'll skip over that until Dory's back, and then we got the caretaker report. Um, you, know, don't have you don't have anything. Okay. But these guys have something. Maybe. Well, I'm gonna let them go first. Okay. If get okay. <laughs> okay. Anybody want to go first with the caretaker report? Um. The Gator, for one. Um, okay. We use that every single day. Yep. Can't do much without it. Definitely needs to be looked at. In yes. terms of mechanical repairs or yeah. getting a new one? or yeah. what, what uh, Possibly a new one. Not sure. We send it out to be, it's supposed to be on the list to be done every year that it's supposed to be good to know. Town mechanic. Well, the transmission's uh, definitely going. Yeah. Uh, uh, okay, well, they're, they're, they're the, the ones that you should give with yeah, these this, this be the second year that it hasn't gone out. Yeah. Okay. Well, the yeah. Town mechanic has uh, agreed year. to uh, look at it. Thank well, you. the town mechanic couldn't do anything with it the last time, so that's why we had sent it up to be fixed at the right place. But like you said, it yeah. shouldn't have been done last year. Last year it didn't go, and this year it hasn't gone yet. So 
Okay. So I, I don't drive it myself because I don't have a license, but I've heard other caretakers try to start it. And it takes like two or three, sometimes four times that to turn the key for it to finally turn over, over and start. Happened. So okay. it's out of there. Yeah. Right. Okay. So the gator, the gator needs to be tuned up. So we'll get the town mechanic. Um, Rod, did you talk to the town mechanic already? Or? Yep. Okay. You did. Okay. Great. Yep. Does he have a date for when he's coming out? Um, right now they're getting the sanders and stuff all set to go. Okay. And he said after we're done using it for the winter or whatever, then uh, he'll come up, trailer okay. back up there and take a look at it. Right? Yeah, can you just can you just do me a favor and let Dory know and then so oh, we can use it. it. Yep. Can I can I add another know. thing about this miscommunication? How yeah. is it you know and the rest of us are left out in the dark? Um, I think he works with Dory. He comes I work in with Dory all the yeah. time. She is the chain of command. Exactly. And you've been here four months, five months. Yeah. You've had more to do that we were supposed to do around camp that needed to be voted on first. And somehow... Um, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm oh, just going to oh. interrupt you. Bill, right? Yeah. You're very hostile. So sorry. I think... Yeah, so, so I think... Well, no, don't. And I can think, you... Hold on. Can you direct this through yeah. Frank? He's yeah. the chair. So, yeah. so, so okay, so be, I don't need to be hostile. No, no, no that's, that's fine. So, so, so I just, just feel like our feet are being walked on. With no okay. communication. That's okay. exactly how it feels. Sorry. So, so what? No. It's, so what? No, so it, it, miscommunication. It is lack of communication. What would you like to see changed that would be a better communication for it? So what? What would, would make your commute? What would be easier for communication wise? What would you like to see? Well, I don't know. I mean, it's well, I do know. Okay. How about meetings with the caretakers and the groundkeepers? Okay. And you talk about it happened a couple times, and then it just kind of slapped off. Okay, so who, so who they like can get ideas with? because we're the caretakers. We know a lot that mm -hmm. and I'm, uh, that you people probably don't hear a lot of. Okay, okay, we have our ideas, just like anything else. When we have an idea to do something, improve something, or whatever, we bring it to you people. Mm -hmm. People vote on it. it. Happens or it don't happen. This year, it seems like a lot of things got done. I don't even know if they were voted on. We didn't know anything about it. Okay, so so if that so if that's the case, right, and you have things that need to get that that it, first off, I need examples of what what you think got done that didn't, get, and it doesn't need to be right now. You can send it. In Raising of the the, uh, the cabins, with okay. blocks into blocks. Okay. Um, <coughs> so Bill, are you saying that that should so, have been voted on? on? Electricity. Oh, one second. One second. Uh -huh. yeah. So um, okay. So and also, I mean, we have we have meetings. Pretty much twice a month, and I understand they're in the nighttime and they're not as, as readily yeah. available. But if you have something that you need voted on or a situation that you need to be addressed in front of the commission, not only is everybody here available through call or email at any time, you can always email Dory and she can send it to us so we can have. I've a, talked a to Dory. Okay, and if, if there was a. I talked to Dory at least three weeks trying to get a pipe fixed in one of the north end bathrooms. Okay. Or something that needed to be called on. Okay. And it, it, it was there a plumber? Did uh, I mean Dory? She said she'd call, and I know she's got a lot on her plate. Mm -hmm. But I bugged her every other day for about two and three weeks, and nothing happened. Okay. Okay. Hold on one second for me. Go ahead, Joe. Okay. As far as the the, the basis for the, the the north end cabinet should be taken care of. There is a list of how much it's going to cost for each one. The money is there. There's no reason why that hasn't been done. It's been put off and put off and put off. And that's not something that, I mean, we, we are all new. You two are new. Yep. But Melissa, you know that it's been put off. We had the list from Gordon that he, he had and how much it was going to cost for each thing. So it's all done. But never... But he always was too busy to do it, too busy to do it. Well, we somehow or other we need to force these things to be done but as group here. Yep. So you're going to need to not just depend on Dory to do all these communications, but some maybe someone on one of the, the committees, like if you have mm -hmm. your, your go back to your mm -hmm. one yep. committee that we don't facilities committee, yep. have that person contact and keep contacting. Mm -hmm. I mean, they can do some of the stuff too, mm -hmm. and that's what that's what uh, Brian was doing, I, I, but then. Someone stepped in in the middle of it all, and there was too much communication. So therefore, things got. And, and I, I don't I don't know what happened with the other committee members that are no longer here, and their teams, and the facilities, and things well, like they, that. But they I, did a lot of that's work com, that's completely fine. But it is it's, it's absolutely irrelevant for right now because mm -hmm. right now we have to move on with the situation that we're at, and we can't so depend I said on that. So correct. Yeah, we do. And do what they were yes, doing. correct. I, no, I, I Joan, I'm, I'm not arguing with you. I agree with you. I, I completely agree with you, but the problem is, is that we're four members right now on a seven-person committee, too, right? I mean, 
we need more people in here to also do this. But on the other hand, if the caretaker is, if you guys have an issue that's not being addressed, then you can send it to any one of us and we can go ahead and address it, right? If, if you, if... Just uh, the communication. And, and What's that, going on? Who's involved with it? Yep. And, and that's still, fine. But so it's yeah. also a two-way street. Right. Like, no, exactly. Have, well, I'll give you my email address. Email me. Do I'll give you my phone number. You can call me. Text yeah. me. And, and, like, but, no problem. Right. You know what I mean? But, I mean, and so I don't know the issue that's going on if nobody tells me what the issue is, right? Every every meeting that we're here, we see we see Maddie and we see Roger. Mm -hmm. So, and, and they're the only two that are telling us what's going on in their caretaker reports, which is fine, right? And, but that's the only thing that we're getting. If you have an issue that's not being addressed, come to one of the meetings. You send us an email and address it there in the meeting. If you'd rather not do it in a, in a, in a public meeting, then you can... Call and absolutely, I don't have a problem with that at all if things get done around here, if mm -hmm. it's, it's voted on or whatever. But it just feels like we're being left out in the dark here. It's not coming from Dory. Dory doesn't say, oh, by the way, you know. I mean, well, I don't she's had double Dory, bookings right. where there's a party that rents the whole North End, and you go up there, and all of a sudden there's 100 cars there because the Boy Scouts are camping in there, too. Now you got all these people running around going, oh, they're not supposed to be here. Oh, I forgot to tell you. I mean, I, yeah. There should be so, a posted calendar for every month of what's going on. And not it posted so that you, when you guys come in, you can see it. Are these is double it, bookings in the calendar? I know you guys all have access to the calendar, right? I can't open the no, calendar. No, I have no, no idea. I can't so not, every, not everybody Google has access anymore. to the calendar? I mean, I have the cap access to the calendar to see the schedule, but like I know she does the scheduling for the, all the caretakers, mm -hmm. but like we don't, until she sends the schedule out or like does the schedule on the calendar, we don't know what's coming up for events. Okay. You okay. Know? So would it would it be That's would it be right. would it be, be helpful Facebook would it be helpful Facebook. for you guys to I mean I wouldn't put it all on Facebook. No, no, no. <laughs> there is a so, website so. for the camp on Facebook. That with the town website is through Facebook. And therefore, that's where we should also have it, because that's where most of the people look and see. We can't do that, though, John. Yeah, we've we got privacy. privacy. You can't put people's names so, on. You don't put okay, their names okay, on. You okay. just say wedding so, so, such okay. and such a date. So, so, okay, so, so that, that's, that's useful that's for the public, but that's... Google. Okay, okay. Hold on one second. <laughs> so, would it be helpful for you guys as caretakers to have the full months of events beforehand yes. and, and, and have that as yes. something that's available. Rather than, having to rely, rather than having to rely on her to send us out our schedule and then we go, oh, there's a wedding here. Oh, there's a baby shower here. Okay. You know, okay. so that way let's, we can let's, come in here and like, boom, we can look at it. Okay, so let's work on that process. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, we'll, we'll talk to Dory about it and see what she has. But listen, we all have to understand that Dory also does a lot of stuff. I know she well, that's what we're saying. She's and and, 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 and one, of the, one of the restraints of town government is the absolute medieval way that they do all their paperwork too, right? right? I mean, right. a single yeah. check has four different ways of doing it, right? right. So it takes a long time, yeah. right? We're not a business here. We're, we're a municipality. So, nope. but the problem, the thing is, and hold on, John, I'll, I'll get no, to one okay, second. Okay. The, the main thing that we need to know and that I need to know is if there is problems, you have to bring them to us because we do not know from anybody who's not here at the meeting, if somebody's getting pissed off because of miscommunication or we want to see the calendars in the van, just tell us. Nobody's going to attack just, you for can it. Can I just stick up for myself for a quick second? Sure, go ahead. I don't always attend the meetings because yes. everybody in this you don't room, have to. I don't even think you know, but everyone in this room knows that I do not drive. Yeah. So they say this time of year when it's dark out, I can't. Yeah. But you need to come yeah, to No, no, you don't need to come to meetings. No, 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 I'm not even saying that. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm sorry. I'm, it, it, that's not the only way. I'm, I'm saying so you can. Uh, like, I'll, I'll leave my. Listen, I'll leave my email over here on, on Dory's desk, and everybody can call me or, or do anything. I don't, I don't care. But uh, well, the problem is, I, I don't know what, what we don't know what needs to be fixed. If we don't know what need, doesn't need to be, what needs to right. be fixed. Right. That's the thing. If you have an issue with communication, and you know people are doing things without you knowing about it. We should have a logbook of everything that's being right. done every day about the maintenance side of things, yep. so everybody can come in and look. I have and, their numbers. I'm going to get your number. Before. Okay, you can get my right. number. Sure. Jen yeah, texts fine. me. Maddie texts me, and Roger texts me when there are issues. So um, yeah, yeah. So Joan, go ahead. So you were raising hand for a long time. I feel well, no, no, no. But it should still should be on the web on the town website that we have a wedding that we have this so that everybody can see it because the townspeople don't know it either. So, so I'm sorry, it has to be Google, Not everybody gets Google, so therefore it's not so, fair. So what one thing that I did talk to Dory about when we when we talked, which I didn't bring up tonight, but we did talk about streamlining a lot of this stuff. Uh, we need to streamline the application process. Mm -hmm. We need to streamline. We do need to put the calendar out on our website so that that will eliminate 
probably 90% of the calls of people right. calling to say, but we have to do it in a way where we can't put pu the people's in private information out there. So we, but it's a process. You, you, you have to, I know, but, but it, we don't want to create a second manual process. So right now we have a manual process where we're adding a, into a Google calendar. We don't want Dory to then take that information and create another calendar. You know, we don't want to keep dual calendars. So we've got to work on a way where we can streamline it with one program where we can create a calendar that we can have for ourselves and put out for the public where it hides, you know, privacy, you know, information. So, so it's definitely something we, we know we should do. It's just going to take there some time. Is, there, is a, there, is a, there is a hundred things that this camp that needs to be fixed. Right? We all know about it, right? But the only thing that we can couple do is, is go, a couple thousand. I was, trying to, I was trying to be a little more conservative about it. But the only thing that we can do is try to fix it as, as, it, as it goes forward. And the, the half the battle, three quarters of the battle, is knowing what the issue is before we can fix it. So thank you for letting us know about the miscommunication no. and everything like that. Can I just add one more thing? Sure, go ahead. Totally. So one of the um, groundskeepers left mm -hmm. for a different job. So there's two people. I put in and basically talked to Brian Trizzetti before that and everything, and Dory sat her down. And my intentions were, because I don't do the functions anymore, I'll set up for him, I'll clean the lodge, clean the outside or whatever. Mm -hmm. But I was going for that outdoor job, you know, mowing, weed rack, whatever it takes, replacing screens, anything outside. Mm -hmm. And it's, she said it was okay, and I was supposed to start this spring. I did. I was supposed to, I did what we needed to do outside. And then I was scheduled to do my regular duties here. So I was coming in a little bit earlier to do the outside job and then go and do this job. But when we have the other caretakers coming in and doing it, that's the only reason I decided to go outside. And she said there was no problem with it, but I am somehow still scheduled. Okay, so you're talking about you, last last spring you were scheduled to... to, to well, this, to, this whole this, spring, this whole spring, you were outside. scheduled to be outside, yeah, and not doing events inside. Yeah. Okay, but it, it didn't work out that way. No. Okay. Is there any way that can change? Um, uh, I don't think I don't think any of us have the power to do that. Not, so, <laughs> so, I, I but, don't know, but, honestly. No, no, no. Brian Frizzetti <laughs> said talk to Dory, and I talked to him and okay. Dory, and it was supposed to be settled okay. there. So can, okay. I, can I just make Absolutely. a statement about? Yeah. So you, all of you caretakers, except for Maddie. Are the same caretaker. Yeah. You're all the same. Walk, you yeah. all have the we, same. We no, you all have the. Thing. You. We could call Jack in for an event if we had to. You're all the same in, in, caretaker. In the eyes of. We yeah. like to. Yes, got to we Jack have to drop windows. <laughs> in the eyes of wage and personnel, and in your job description, you are all the same. Yeah, absolutely. So. So. The outside caretakers versus the inside caretakers is a gray line, right? right. Because there are I going agree. to be times we all do when we're going to, when we have vacation issues and we have staffing issues, that we're going to need to call on outside caretakers to do inside work. So unfortunately, there's you know there's no way to say that Bill, you are only outside. You don't ever have to step foot in the lodge again. Everything you do is outside. So, we just can't do that. Um, there's too many. There's too many things that happen with staffing and with, oh, I get you it. Know, but um, so you so, just hired four people for seasonal this year. It wasn't seasonal. Oh, or, hold, on, hold on one second. Hold I don't know. I didn't, so yeah, so okay. Question. So between the caretakers here, Bill, can I let? I'm going to let Joan talk real quick. Please, she had her hand up. Go ahead. Joan. Okay. What I'm saying is, is that when the seat, when the caretakers, the most recent caretakers were those who were supposed to be event only caretakers. Right. And, 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 he, and Roger's doing all facilities, mm -hmm. which was what he wanted to go do and only. He wanted to get rid of the, but we did hire all these people and they were strictly events and that's how we voted on it to be event people only. We actually hired Roger for landscaping too. I was at the meeting when we hired him and Roger came That was the after the fact. No, nope, that was at the meeting when we voted to hire them. Roger was vote hired to do inside and outside. Okay. He was supposed oh. to be the, the, oh, oh, those oh, people that were hired okay. in the summer, this past summer, were all supposed to be event people only because Maddie's sure. complaint was is that they only had two people doing events, her and someone else, and that, that they, they could always be there. We had was it you that had did one of the events, one of the okay. weddings that had to come in along with the uh, Diane. Okay, hold on one so second. So one second. The so the one discussion one. right now is not on on who we hired six months ago, right? <laughs> so so what we need to do is is I understand what you're talking about. So I, I get what your frustration is. Um, we can't mm -hmm. do anything about that. 
I mean, we can't vote like 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 Audrey said. The caretakers' jobs and responsibilities is the same for everybody except for Maddie's, right? Maddie has a different role, a head caretaker. This is a different job description. So, um, I mean, I, I'm not really sure what to, what to say about that, Roger. From the day that I was interviewed, I was asked what my capabilities were, mm -hmm. and that was by Diane and another lady at the Lisa. Lisa, Lisa, Lisa. thank you. And I told them what my background was, what my abilities were, and they did hire me, along with the others. They have asked me to, Diane is one of them, Dory is the other, has asked me oh, to no. take on uh, a lot of responsibilities. One was two buildings up in the south end had been out of service for two years, to my understanding. Mm -hmm. I was asked if I had the ability to get those buildings back in service. I told them I'd take a look at them. I had them both back in service within a couple of weeks. That was one of the references for tonight. As far as the gate being uh, looked at by the town mechanic, I have had this conversation with Jack. I'm not the only one that knows. Dory knows as well. Okay. I've also told Jack and Jen that the fan for blowing leaves that uh, cuts out every after 15 minutes of running will be seen by the mechanic as well. So I'm not holding any of this to myself, and I'm sorry I got laryngitis here tonight. Um, okay, so so I, I I get that I understand. Okay. So obviously there's frustrations about about different things, right? And and so the the landscaping part that you have that I I'm, I'd be I'd be pissed too, right? If somebody said that you're going to be doing landscaping well, all summer was, spring, why wasn't it offered like posted? To anybody that worked here, there's no, there's no, there's no, I, there's no, there's no difference. difference in the job descriptions. I, there, there's no post that can be made, right? right. I mean, the post is landscape. Mm -hmm. it, it wasn't a landscaping caretaker, right? It was just a caretaker. So the, we can't post saying uh, caretaker just for landscape because that's not a that's not a board and, uh, wage and personnel position that we have here, mm -hmm. right? If Dory said to you, you can be doing more landscaping on outside during the springtime, and then sometimes you have to come in for an event. That, that's that's a part of the job description that a caretaker has. I, I don't know if that was the case if you were outside more this year than you were last year. I'm not sure. I well, wasn't outside. Really, the only outside we did was just that we do with the cabins. We cleaned up all that. We do landscaping. We we whacked and mowed. Just on my own personal time. <laughs> yeah. so. no. Okay, um, Joe. Uh, also, it has been requested that we need to have two types of caretakers, one for facilities and one for events. And some of them can be crossovers, yes, but they were supposed to be listed. And that was the reason why we asked about what your, what your, uh, your past capabilities were. Mm -hmm. And that was it. But, the, but, but originally the idea was is that we were supposed to have the, all the new caretakers be mm -hmm. event caretakers. That's what... That's what we approved of, and that's what we signed off. So, and yes, things can happen differently, mm -hmm. but that wasn't what the original plan was. Mm -hmm. The original yes, plan okay. was so that, that makes sense. So, so, so I, I, I agree with you. We need an event, and we need a, a maintenance caretaker, right? Facilities. We don't have our facilities. I'm sorry, not maintenance, but facilities. We don't have that right now. So everybody's the same caretaker. If we want to go down that road, then we can put it on the next week's or next meeting agenda to split those two roles and have it be something like that and go through the process with mm -hmm. wage and personnel or something like that. But right now, we don't have that. So it's, it's really... We wouldn't have to go through wage and yes, personnel. We would. Would. we would have to because it would be two You're different positions. <laughs> it'd be, it'd be, it'd be a, land, it'd be a, a facility and then it'd be an event. I mean, and, and logically, that is what we should have, right? We should have people who do facilities and people still who do events. They still can't take us. That doesn't matter. Well, right Correct, now they are, two, but if two we wanted... Events, to, you're saying we should have two separate... Okay, hold on, hold on one second. Hold on. type of work to that stuff. It is, but it is completely different job description. The job descriptions have to get approved by wage and personnel, right? So our job description for facilities would be, they wouldn't be breaking down tables after a wedding or staying here for a wedding. It would be a different job description totally. And and that's that would be the right way to do it is go through wage and personnel. If we want that on the next agenda item, I'll put it on there. Um, and until that, you know, I, I can't I can't comment to, to what Dory told you, you're spending more time outside. So um, is there any other caretaker reports? I've got one. Roger. All right, the winterization of the uh, bathhouse, the bridal and beach house was done last Thursday. Uh, Did you take notes, Raj? No, I didn't. You didn't? Okay. It was more hands-on type thing. Yep, yep. And if we choose to do it on our own, yep. we're going to have to spend about $500 in parts to have a pump to do it the same way that he does it. How much did he cost us? 
How much? How much did the plumber cost? Was it a thousand bucks? He told me it's going to be fifteen hundred dollars for this okay. year. That's okay. what he's charged. Excuse well, me. We can talk about that. In the sorry, Roger. Can I interrupt you for a second? Sure. Can we just excuse Madison? Madison is like oh, very, yeah. very tired and she's trapped over there in the corner. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she can go. 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 Okay, so winterization plumbing, fifteen hundred dollars for that. Okay, so Roger that. So it's five hundred dollars. Well, five hundred dollars for the initial. I would imagine it's probably be. It's for a pump and hoses. And but we we need the antifreeze and things like that, or the cool. Yeah, the cool ones you'd have to, or the antifreeze you'd have to buy. Plus you'd have to pay for somebody to actually go out and do it, right? So in the labor to do it, yeah. Roger, you said the beach house and the cap cottage are done. Is that fifteen hundred dollars for also the north and the south end? The cove, the two bath houses, and the cottage are all done. All of them are done. All of them are done. Okay, so that's fifteen hundred dollars for all for all, right? Okay. Did you already buy all the antifreeze though? I had bought some, yep. but he said we needed a hell of a lot more. Okay. So uh, they usually the supply that. The last well, we years, bought it they, because we always supplied that. Well, we were going to first do it ourselves. We were going to do it oh, ourselves. Oh. And then the decision was made to hire it out and see how it's actually how he actually does it. Yeah. So that's why I hung with him for that afternoon. Okay. Um, down in the cove. There's going to be minor repairs to the sink down there. Some of you put in copper pipes uh, going from the inlet to the sink itself. And there was a lot of kinks in the uh, pipe work. So it just needs two flex holes. There's no big deal. Uh, but that can be done in the spring. Any questions on that? No. Uh, additional communications have been done with the insurance company on the storm damage here. They asked for... Uh, itemized lists as far as what I did for cleaning the buildings, uh, tarps, so forth and so on. I gave that to Dory on Monday and she was going to send that off to the insurance company. Okay. Uh, as you probably can see, I've taken a few dead trees down that pose a safety hazard that we talked about in the past. Mm -hmm. uh, they've still got to be cleaned up and there's still a few more I want to take down. I'm doing those primarily when nobody's here, so I don't have to worry about dropping my cars or anything. Good idea. Appreciate yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I started the work on the handicapped entrance, as we discussed in the past. Uh, that was all dug out. Uh, put some base back in there. Now I'm going to put sand on there. So you're going like, to like make it like a ramp almost? It's it be probably will be ground level. level, probably not ramp style, but okay. it will go to the concrete that's there. So it will be there. more like a transition. Correct. And that's also going to, as long as I can do it with the budget, it's going to include, and you can see where the markings are right there now, to go to the uh, side door there where the catering goes in. So there'll be a walkway there and yeah. to the yeah. connecting. Yep. So was that with the, with the pavers that we, that we, we discussed last that, time? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I haven't purchased the pavers because I've been told I can't make any purchases yeah. until the Finance Committee yeah. approves additional right. funds. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then, and then, please, please, we we have a way of paying that for that with our with our debit cards and things like that, right? You don't. don't we, we don't have, have any cards here. We do. Cards we have here. a Lowe's card. We don't no, have we don't. any cards no. here. No, no, we, don't. we don't have any. No. The last time we made a purchase of cement blocks, we borrowed the one from the uh, yeah, so fire, fire station. Yeah. But we did have cards. We, we had a card. We had a yeah, card. Home I, I, I tried to use the card and it was no good. You know? yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. 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 The Walmart ones are expired too. Well, Ace we have, and we have Samson Lumber. Yep. Neither one of them carry papers. Talk to both no, but we but do have those. We did have one for Lowe's and Home Depot. They expired. Who would know who has our credit cards? Dory loaned me one and it was no good. No, they're here, they're expired, they just have to get fixed. Okay. Like, yeah. All right, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll work on that. Okay. We have an yeah. ease account, right? Yeah, yes. Yeah. Papers. yeah, we just stop yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. 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 you just the way you just say who you are. Right. Yeah. They don't sell papers at these? Mm. I think we have dollars that they did. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, they don't, they don't so, have papers at these. How do I know about our little card, the Home Depot card? And the last one is. Uh, the trees for out front, we're still waiting for uh, Mr. Diaz to uh, dig the holes. 
and then I can have the trees here the following day. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Roger, I have a quick question for you. Sure. Um, don't be offended when I ask you this, but why were the boulders moved that far in on the island? Because my personal opinion, and I've heard another caretaker say it too, he's not in the room. Thank you for the opportunity to work here. You're welcome. Um, <laughs> I'll tell you why. It is because you know, it's you know, not, not, not now. Not now. We'll tell you after. Not. Well, we yeah. can know what has happened. I, happened. He voices opinions. Yeah. Yeah. That's basically okay. what he's upset about. I, he's been I, here the long time. I, I have a listen, but I, I've only. And they've cut his hours. Like I, I get he's it. Getting 19 hours and he's not getting. Everybody's out of time. Everybody. You know what the thing is, Joe? We don't have the money to pay. But, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. This, this is not, this is not the purpose of the meeting. This is not what we're going to okay. do, right? So we're not going to discuss personal coming. matters right. in, in a public session like this. So <laughs> it is what it is. It, it happened. It is what it is. Everybody's pissed off because I was get caught and everything like that. that it happened with everybody. That's not the point. I, I would love to hear the point after the meeting's closed, Joe. Mm -hmm. I, I really would because I'm, I'm curious because I don't want people just dropping in keys here in a recreation meeting and then and then leaving the camp because we need people to help. So I'd love to hear the point from everybody. And before that happens, I wish somebody would reach out to us and say there's an issue that I'm having with with what I'm going to. I mean, mm -hmm. Before somebody just drops their keys on the desk and leaves. So, but you know what? His prerogative. It's a free country. He can do whatever he wants. Anyway. Um, um, Okay, Roger was saying the trees the would be here the yes, following day. You. you were speaking. Yes, yes. Oh, yes. yes thank you. <laughs> um, why were those boulders pushed so far in on the island? Because my opinion, and like I said, another caretaker who now no longer works here, kind of pointed out that that, to me, or us, didn't enforce no parking on the island. I think it's temporary, isn't it? So you, we could, it's temporary. I had the machine here. I scattered the rocks. We can put them any way we want. We can bring the machine back at a later date. Um, I was there again. We did have another commission member. I uh, was very upset that they were all dropped in one spot. So we kind of just scattered them to do that. The rocks are not there to stop people from parking there at this time. Okay. But maybe once you get the trees and stuff yeah. in the, there, the original, then, they, so, then they can be right. so Just one step like, further. Sorry, Frank. Yeah, go ahead. One step further. There's going to be like a three foot buffer of wood chips around the entire perimeter. Mm -hmm. So the rocks would be inside of that. Okay. But if we need to bring them out further, they can be brought up. Okay, them. so people are still going to be allowed to park on around the island, but they're just going to be brought up. Wood chips we're, going to, we're going to try and use other measures at a later date to stop the parking around the circle. Okay. Thank you, Roger. So thank, the, thank the, 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 land, the landscaping out front, as I don't know if you've watched any meetings, has been going on for like eight months, right? So we're still we're still <laughs> in the process of getting that figured out too, right? So so once once the trees are in and once next spring comes and we're actually going to be doing a lot of landscaping out front to make it look all nice and everything like that, then we can move the rocks wherever we want to. Okay. We just need to put it some place right now that's not all in one place. Right? I was just possible. curious because like some of the other caretakers know how like kind of frosted I get when I see people parking on the grass yeah. and parking over here. And yeah. It just the, the problem is if we leave them all there in one spot for the whole winter time, the ground's going to get soft eventually in the spring. It's going to go, like it's gonna go right, right there, Plus there's like mines there. So we had to move yeah, some. Yeah, there is a gas line. Right. And there's going to be work that's done around it and it'll be moved again. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. So, I was just curious. Um, okay. Is there anything else in caretake reports? Jack, yeah, anything? Roger, okay. you all good? <laughs> you all good? I'm good. You have any issues? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Thank you. Um, okay. I'll, I'll entertain please a motion leave, to please adjourn. Please leave your phone number and email address I, right under my desk. I'm going to get, get a business card. <laughs> yeah. so I'll bring so. you one. Anyway, I'll, I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. Um, so moved. So moved. Second. All in favor. Hi. Right, thank you.